That must be frustrating. Fifty point five. Uh, I only have fifty on me right now. I just got fifty of them. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. give me a minute here, bud. Just sell something. It's been a week yet. Yeah, I don't know. Oop. Thanks, man. Uh, I would grab them all at once. I just need to. Uh, obviously, I need to do. Um, uh, okay, I'm gonna get a memory leak going here. I need to uh, meta mod and stuff, right? So I need the divines for that. As a new player trying to get uh, into not just essence to item crafting, but something just the level above, which one of your videos would you recommend? Uh, thanks for your content. Hey, no problem, dude. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, man. I actually can't remember what's on any one of my videos. Um, specifically. Uh, yeah. yeah, maybe someone in chat could help you better. I, I, I honestly don't know what's on them. Uh, you can check out the website, maybe. Um, or the uh, Belton's Guides data, etc. on the Discord. Um, when I get, uh, obviously not when I'm just sat down, but some other time, I'll, I'll, I'll make a list of what's on each one so that this issue doesn't come up again. Uh, I, can't, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember most specifically what's on each one, though. I uh, because I usually make videos, like, after I have something that works out well for myself, uh, I make the video, like, right after, right? Or as I'm doing it. Um, so, I, it's not it's not something, like, I, I catalog ahead of time. Apologize about that. No, it's not particularly useful. <laughs> Okay, thanks, General. Okay. Thank you, bro. Yeah, this has been a lot more expensive for roll this than I thought it would have been. Look at that. Guys, look how that just rolled. I could put plus two gems on here. And then it would be plus, plus three to supports, plus one to all. 
plus one to every gun. It's the first time I've hit that. So if I put, for example, if I put Discharge, Empower, and Enlighten in there, or sorry, Enhance, I would have a level 4, I'll get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'll get 5 levels, so I get level, level 10 in Power, and level 10, so I get 72 quality, and I'll get 9 levels, plus I would get 1, 2, 2 Discharge levels. So you have assuming a level twenty one discharge, you would have a level twenty one plus nine is thirty. Level thirty two discharge for from that. Then you could put uh you, you know what's kinda kinda cool too, if you craft a bow instead, you can actually go the bow route because you do it with um God damn it. Uh, you can actually go the bow route. In fact, I just saw one that was available. It's quite cheap, actually. Um, if you go the bow route, because... Oh, um, it's, it's cast on skill use, right? So... Oh, there we go. Let's try it this way. Someone mentioned this is it's gonna cost four divines each time. But it does mean that we would preserve our suffix. We rolled the fucking prefix, of course. Okay, solid. What the fuck, man? Why does this keep fucking happening? Okay, we lucked out again. Thank God. Okay. So now we can change it to a block mod. Now this is the thing. All right, we can reduce it. Our odds right now are fifteen hundred out of fourteen thousand two. Roughly one in three chances. We can remove thirteen thousand though. No, sorry, can we remove 3,000 by blocking? So it goes to 11,300. And then it also will have two other ones, which are a minimum of minus 1,000, minus 1,000, divided by. Oh. So 
So here's the dilemma. Not the dilemma per se, but... If we keep the meta mod on there... No, we're just going to do it. I was going to say, if we keep the meta mod on there, and we and we unveil it, and it's not the right mod... Um, you know, we could just null off the wrong mod. Like, we could get lucky and null off the wrong mod. And we wouldn't have to repay for the suffixes can't be changed. So now, by blocking the power charge, we make it so that it can't roll. Um, it can't roll power frenzy or endurance charge. So we remove three thousand from the waiting. If we unveil it here, then we're basically done the entire craft. Fuck me in the pussy, obviously. Fuck, piece of shit. We spent like a hundred divines just rolling this already. Crazy. Again, we lose the 50-50. And we hit it the first time again. Uh, I had I bought an entire divine worth of and it fucking changed the quality too. Holy fucking shit. Motherfucker, we're pushing ship click and it changed the fuck Ah Nothing is going right about this craft right now. <laughs> oh you can Yeah, wrong crafting's decent. As long as you know, like, what bases to look for. Basically, just find a good base at an appropriate item level. That has a couple of the mods you're already looking for, basically. Uh, I, I, I don't bother doing rod crafting, because I think it's kind of like a... Um, kind of crafting if you don't know what you're doing, sort of thing. That doesn't mean it's not good, but obviously it's early on in the league, you're going to get the most value out of weapons, right? Like the first thing people always want to get for their build 90% of the time is, is the weapon. Okay, 29%, This is super annoying. I was ship clicking fucking um, faceted fossils. 
and it started going into my stash and rolling the fucking uh, perfect fossils that I had in resonators in there. Change the quality off from 30. We already had it at 30 quality. I don't think like I, I I can't imagine that's too difficult on their end to prevent. I like it's good when it does it when they're socketed with the same fossil. But the fact that it'll roll random fossils that are completely unrelated to what you're doing is fucking beyond stupid to me. Fuck sakes. to go broke for your question question what would be the easiest way to craft plus two amulet i can <laughs> uh i could i could tell you about 15 different ways to craft a plus two amulet in about two minutes or less chaos amulets are actually the easiest ones to make too 30 percent you gotta love that eh i just had 31 fossils Bought another divine of them, socketed ten of them, and then right after I buy a divine of them, the first fossil. <laughs> after using thirty-one, it's thirty percent. Classic. Okay, I'll put them in the guild stash. Cause that way it won't auto. Uh... If I put them in my sash and I accidentally shift click one or two many times, it'll change the quality on the item. Uh, I think there's a post on my website on how to craft them. Uh, I can show you how to do it very easily. Um, what? Ooh. Are you just sorting those? Um, just not while I'm in the middle of doing this, obviously. Okay. No, that's the dumbest. That's the absolute dumbest idea I've ever heard. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. So chaos, chaos gems is the easiest one to roll because it only you, again, as you identified there, it has the reforge, right? It's the only one that does not have another prefix, right? So, uh, all you have to do, go to the trade site, look up plus one skill gem amulets, all skill gems. Now we're going to type prefix, empty prefix modifier is one, empty suffix modifiers, one. Oh, and corrupted, no. Corrupted, no, mirror, no. Synthesize, no. It can't be influenced. Oh, actually, it can be influenced, but. Better to get one that's not influenced. Uh, if you can get one that has two open prefixes or it has a better, it has a good prefix, all the better. Mm. So here, this one's only got one prefix. I don't know why it says it's. Did I not enter one in one? Oh, suffix modifier, sorry. Empty suffix. Okay, there, here's one with the empty prefix. One, it's one divine for one of those ones, or empty prefix, 200 chaos. I would just go get the one that has this. Okay, so you get an amulet like that. Item text copied.
Does that not work? This is gonna be annoying on his part. Okay, Alt Control C. Alright. So we got two suffixes, one prefix. Crafted mods, prefixes can't be changed. Harvest. Add, remove, chaos, done. That'll cost you four divines total. Uh, alternatively, if you really want to, you can try and reforge chaos, but chaos resistance is still a possibility. So you see there, it removed it and rolled chaos res. That's why you can't do that. Um, another thing you can do is buy a chaos res, an amulet that has chaos res fractured, and you can alteration or aug and augment that until you get plus one. To skill gems, and then you can reforge that. I don't suggest doing that because it takes 1800 alterations on average, and it's just a pain in the ass and takes a long ass fucking time. Um, uh, alternatively, you can also get ones where you split them. So let's say here, okay, you get one that's one prefix, one suffix. You can also do this. Crafted three mods, prefixes can't be changed. Suffixes can't be changed, which is the prefix one. This is gonna cost you five divines total. Again, choosing which one you do depends on what other mods you want on there. And then you can do reforge. Everything is locked on here right now. Um, reforge chaos, and there you go, guaranteed. Uh, a good way to do this too, uh, one of the cool applications for this way of doing it is if you buy dot multiplier fractured and then you alteration plus one all skills uh, and then you remove the other mod. So you're going to have to regal it. But when you regal it, a null and uh, well, there's two ways you can do it. Sorry. Um, if you regal into a suffix, you can do suffixes can be changed augment or sorry, suffixes can be changed a null because uh, that'll guarantee you don't lose the all skills. Uh, or you can just YOLO and null, but either way, imagine that this was all a uh, da damage over time multiplier. You could then do it like this, and then you would, when you remove the crafted mods, you'd be left with dot multiplier and plus two, and you'd have still all your other mods open. It really depends on the variable cost. The, 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 the thing is, the cost of the uh, augments is so cheap this league. I think you'll spend three divines for the, the total. So um, you don't even actually have to put suffixes can't be changed either. Uh, like in this version right here, you don't even need to have suffixes can't be changed. You can just do this. If you want to YOLO it, just craft any suffix. Right, so then you don't have to pay the two divines. And you can harvest augment. And that's, what, that's the reason why you put prefixes can't be changed. But because these are less than a divine each, it actually on average would save you money. Because when you augment, it adds the mod. So every single time, it's going to add chaos gems. And, and then it's going to remove one mod randomly. So since there's four mods, it's only 25% chance. There you go. Chaos gel. There you go. Chaos skills. There you go. Plus two. So really all you need to do is just have one open prefix. And you can chaos augment. You can even buy one. You can just do this even. Uh, empty prefix one. Empty. And like no empty suffixes. Uh, there you go. 200 chaos. Uh, just block the last suffix there so the augment goes guaranteed to that. Uh, and if you do that way, that's going to cost you three divines. So you can buy the amulet for, what was it, 200 chaos, three divines, and you have a 75% chance of success to hit the plus two. That means you can add to the average total cost. We'll do a 1.25 multiplier. So it would cost you 3.75 divines on average with the risk. Uh, uh, being accounted for as well. Okay, three crafted mods. Uh, suffixes can't be changed. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck me, it filled out our prefixes. That sucks. Um...
Still wins. And we fail it a fucking again. For fuck's sake. Come on! I'm getting re goddamn ridiculous. This is not a difficult craft or expensive by any means relative to anything else I do. But the sheer amount of 50-50s and fucking unveils we, we failed in a row is just absolutely obscene. Like, uh, straight up obscene. Okay, again. I need to have a cigarette. This is starting to piss me off. Um, we should have been able to craft it on... Uh, on average, we would have hit it four times now. Four times. It's fucking... Rah! It's crafts like this that annoy me. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm not joking, guys. The other day, if anyone was here, I crafted probably one of the best rings ever in the history of the game. In an hour and a half, 61. And that's including the time it took me to solo farm in Ashland. And I'm stuck failing 50-50s on a fucking unveil for like three hours on this. That's what pisses me off. Okay, we got it back again. Like, I had 150 divines. We've, we've spent 143 divines on this fucking thing. Okay. Um, recrafted mods. Topics can't be changed. And we got a prefix. Fucking useless. Okay, we got a suffix. If I fail this one again. Cool wins. Oh, cigarette time. It's not the best ring in the game. Uh, I can point to you with empirical data as to why that is the rarest set of prefixes implicits in the game. But thank you, random person on YouTube. For your qualified opinion. The, be the best, be best as a statement of um, uh, function is an impossible thing to qualify or quantify because it's, uh, it's always going to be build to build. But that is empirically the rarest ring base in the game. Look, not without question. It's like an irrefutable fact. I can show you the data on that to support that after. But... You know, 10 years of crafting, specifically discharge ring, yeah, maybe. Give me the benefit of the doubt that I might know what I'm talking about. Um, But yeah, with respect to the ring, you're welcome. Go look up any league, any league in the game or any historical data, what the most expensive synthesis, individual synthesis in the game is, not just on rings, on anything. The most expensive one you can get is a power charge on a ring of any synthesis mod on any item. More expensive than plus one arrow, more expensive than spell double damage, more expensive than anything else. Um, 
the second most expensive one of any item in the game, any synthesis mod in the game, is a frenzy charge on a ring. The combination of those two things in the history of the game, of every item ever existed in this game, has showed up once before. There is one ring in the entire game ever that has fre frenzy charge and power charge as a synthesis. And the third implicit on it is uh, rarity of items found. This is bar none, the rarest and best synthesis in the entire game. Now, in terms of best, in, in terms of function, that's going to be build dependent. So any any attempt to quantify that specifically uh, is ignoring that blatant fact. But in terms of overall rarity, difficulty to treat, achieve, and value, bar none, the rarest and most expensive base that will ever that exists in the game right now for our rigs.
No, the original base doesn't exist. Here. I, know I can show you because, again, it's my ring. I don't know if you guys have been popping in for Reddit or something, but like the ring crafting is like literally what I'm known for. I, I own literally hundreds of mirrors of rings. Four charges, four charges, four charges, four charges, four charges. Perfect. 61 double charge powers. Uh, this is the ring you're referring to. Cast speed, power, frenzy. First of all, that's tier two cast speed. Cast speed goes to five. Spell damage per power charge is infinitely, infinitely better than four five percent cast speed. Uh, on a discharge build, for example, or any power charge stacking build, uh, that's seventy seven percent spell damage versus four percent cast speed. So you're talking eight seven to eight points on a tree versus one point on a tree. Um, I also own fifty percent, forty percent, sorry, of all plus four amulets ever made. So in case anyone. Wants to argue about the price of plus two amulets, preemptively. Um, yeah, the the that that ring was mass replicated using um, the B splits, uh, but the original copy is destroyed. It's not, it's not craftable. Yeah. Uh, and it wouldn't matter if it was because it is. In every single way worse. Uh, especially with Calandra's Touch. This ring would provide 14 spell damage per power charge. Uh, on a discharge build, that is a bare minimum of 154% spell damage. Uh, as opposed to 8% cast speed. Even if those rings were not all just mirrored versions of each other. Alright. Any other questions? No? Good. Cool. Um, uh, but I saw you trying to buy it. Yeah, that that this. Ben, if you're gonna ask questions, not listen to the answers. I'm gonna get really annoyed. Okay, I'm going to say it one more time, and I'll speak slowly so you understand. You used to be able to replicate synthesis bases with beast splits. That is why there are so many mirrored copies of the same junk ring. The original copy does not exist anymore. Period. All of them are mirrored versions. I have the original one, and they're destroyed because of recombinators and other things, corruption, blah, blah, blah. And even if it did exist, it would not matter because cast speed, first of all, goes up to 5%. So it's not even a tier one cast speed roll is 1 50th as good of a mod as spell damage per power charge. So even if that original ring did exist, it would be worse than this. I'm not going to repeat myself again. And again, if any of you are overly concerned about this i welcome you to go and try and attempt it this took me six six leagues of six leagues of tracking i even have it as a as one the, one of the bookmarks on my internet browser on my phone is literally a search for two charge rings i've had that there for five uh, okay i need some divines we need metamods I sell quickly. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 like I've pursued this I've pursued this ring for like hundreds and hundreds of hours. Uh like I've spent well over 300 mirrors trying to make power charge and frenzy charge rings. This is like literally <laughs> for 10 years straight I've played discharge. Uh I've written like 13 discharge guides. 
Like this is like, this is literally, literally like the sole focus. So I, I realize it maybe sounds like I'm being aggressive or whatever here, but like without any contextual understanding uh, for I, like either who I am or what I've done in the past uh, to, to try and dismiss what I'm saying, because it, you know, I don't know why people get indignant over comments like that. Um, I don't make those kind of assertions lightly. <laughs> this is, this is very, very, very specifically a market and an item I am acutely aware of. Uh, but yeah, the fact that I rolled spell damage per power charge is fucking nuts though. Cause am I making it? Is, is, Yeah, the fact that I rolled spell damage for power charge is fucking nuts, though. Because... Am I making a bit... Fucking chat. Fucking chat. These questions. <laughs> yeah, I'm making a discharge build. Why would someone undercut the market on this by 10 divines? You goddamn retarded. Who is this? Is this one of you? Why would you undercut a market by 10 divines? Oops. Uh, Fucking people, man. Constantly getting undercut. That's fun. All right, Karamba. Mm, and this fucking idiot. Who jumps from 170 to 100? Uh. Uh, who jumps from 200 to 130? Oh, that's right. I did. LOL. Okay, we're raising the price on that. 175. Uh, there must have been someone else who posted one earlier. I would never, ever undercut a market that much. Oh yeah, that's mine too. Plus one cards, malevolence. That one is objectively better. All rise is better than malevolence. Um Oh, that's why. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so earlier somebody undercut me by like this person. I don't know who this is. Fucking I can't say that word. Stupid. <laughs> Don't jump from 200 to 130. Uh, it's my most insane corruption on standard. I have 3,000 tabs of items on standard. I corrupted a 10 mirror item though. Um, okay. I'm gonna have to drop the price on these again. Uh. I shouldn't have done this on stream. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. The watchers were already like 100 divines into profit on, so lowering the values on these is relatively meaningless. Uh, how much did I spend on watchers? We spent 240 divines. Our EV was 591, and we've sold 322 divines from that batch. So less than 24 hours later, we're already 82 divines into profit. 
Uh, so any any of this stuff is it took like an hour to do as well. So any of this is uh, you know lowering values here is of, of little consequence. <clears throat> Uh, Generox, can I give can I give you something to sell or to hold on to to get some divines off you just so I can keep crafting? Get back to you in a second. All right. Let me price all the shit out. Er, for, 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 for. Okay, what do we have here? Flammability on hit with frostbite on hit. Arcane surge on hit with frostbite on hit. Dexterity. With three implicits. I have like a fucking, I have like a mirror, well, more than a mirror worth of beast. Vivid, Vulture, I don't want to sell those though. Yeah, these are 120 to a mirror, so that's just under a mirror of those. 35 divines worth of those. Um, <laughs> I did actually buy a claw earlier, so I realized, actually, I didn't, that's right, I did, yeah, you enjoy that, <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I also have this, fuck, I forgot I rolled this earlier, guys, look at that, look at that ring we rolled, spicy, plus one frenzy, T1 life gain on hit, T1 life. Fours may be a bit much. Three probably in. How much is that ring to mirror? Which one? I have five mirror service rings. <laughs> uh, I've got the uh, Omni with LE weakness, 61. T1 crit multi, power charge, onslaught. Uh, I've got uh, this guy right here. Uh, I've got uh, this guy right here as uh, 200 divines, but I'm not, I'm not nitpicky on that. If you've got a decent amount, it's all good. In my mind, the highest compliment anyone can get is somebody wanting to mirror. Like, if you get, like, because I love, like, I legitimately love crafting. Like, I know a lot of people hate it. I, I fucking love it. Uh, the reason why I sell shit is so I can keep crafting, basically. Um, it's like a perpetual cycle for me. Uh, one, but one that I thoroughly enjoy. Um, I let the first person mirror it for 150. Uh, that was done earlier. It's listed at 200 divines. There's a link to my mirror shop. But because I have no money right now, I have no cash on me. <laughs> if you're, uh... I mean, I won't, I, there's no chance I'm taking less than 100. But if, if you can put together over 100 before I get some money, I'll, uh, I got you. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I always, I don't feel bad per se, because it's like, if the game were all people doing what I do, then the game would be awful fucking awful like 90 percent of the success that i'm able to get with the markets are contingent on the fact that it's somewhat of a uh or at least a perceived stressor for most people right uh, if everyone were just trading working the markets all the time then it wouldn't work for anybody but uh, uh i, I want to put the um I want to put, sorry, I want to put my, uh, I, I hate it wearing headphones. I want to put the sound on my TV, but for some reason, Streamlabs won't pick that up. You want to? Okay, gotcha. Can 
Congratulations on your first mirror, by the way. Oh, man. I mean, to, to highlight how effective hi hideout shit is, yesterday, and these are not fudge numbers, I did this all on stream, this was my profit yesterday. N not spent, not, not gross, this is my profit. 1,900, oops. 1,959 divines of profit yesterday. 4.7 mirrors. Thirty divines of gear? No, no, dude. He's in like two divines of gear. I don't know that why that was the point I was nitpicky on, but no, he never, he never directly re responded to me. From what I'm told, he, uh, uh, you know, indirectly did so. Mirror copy number two, boys. Wait, is that the mirror version? Yes, okay. I thought for a second that was the original. I was like, what the fuck? Bad mistake. Thanks, dude. Okay, now we got cash again. Yeah, sorry. Look, I have to ban people who say shit like this. I would kill you in life for with no hesitation. Look, I I think internet freaks fucking internet threats are. Uh, a kind kind of a joke, but uh, you know, I I'm getting in a lot of trouble for this. So, unfortunately i didn't see anything else i said it might not be unfortunate you could be a terrible person but uh stuff like that i i i gotta i gotta ban you for it dude um how do i do that server settings i'm all for free speech and for joking around but when it cut when it passes a threshold where I'm getting in trouble. It's Yeah, I mean, saying I, I would kill you, I'm going to kill you in real life, no restraint. The fact that I was kicked from every channel for saying that I wanted to stuff someone in a locker that wasn't even an actual person or directed at somebody. I was talking about a hypothetical mole within my own guild <laughs> in a private conversation to my chat. And that has been had me banned and labeled as a psychopathic fucking something 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 unhinged whatever uh 
people sending threats, like people saying, I'm going to come kill you in real life, no hesitation. I, I can't, I can't have that shit hanging on my head. Uh, I, I have absolutely zero question that I'm, that person could probably be tie my arm behind my back and throw that guy around like a rag doll. Uh, I know most people are just expressing themselves and their frustration on the internet in a, you know, I do it all the time myself. Like when you get angry or frustrated, you say dumb shit. But when you say stuff that can get my server, my discord and my integrity called into question, I got to do something about it. So just don't be a douchebag, man. I don't want to have to do that stuff. Okay, three crafted. I don't believe in content moderation as like a principled thing. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, do not get rid of fucking dexterity gems. Okay, thank you. Suffixes, remove, and uh, what's the other one I need? Okay, 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 okay. I swear to God, this is our seventh unveil. Yes! No! No! God damn it! Oh! I just saw the word 15% in trigger. Oh! This is getting fucking ridiculous, dude. Like, fucking ridiculous. Ugh. Okay, at least we maintain that. Doesn't make sense to block blood rage. I'm blocking. I'm doing absolutely everything correctly. We're just getting unlucky. All right, we got lucky on the null at least. There. Uh, here's the data on it. So you can see availed mod is 14,300 waiting. The trigger is a 1500, which in of itself is a one in 10.1. Or sorry, 10.1 to about 100. So 1 in 9.8, something roughly like that. Uh, however, there's certain mods that are pulled together. So, for example, the reason why I'm blocking a charge is because if you block any one of these charge unveils, it blocks all three of them. So it removes the 3,000 waiting. So it goes from 1,500 to 14,000 uh, to 1,500 and 11,000. And there's also three mods showing up each time. So 15,000 uh, out of 11,000 and then... Um, you know, at the very least, it's going to be 9,000, which at the very worst is a one in six. However, if you consider that it's a 1500 and then it's rolling each time independently, um, it would be 1500 times three, you'd be getting one every two and a half to three times. I've done nine unveils now, and I've spent almost 150 divines doing this, which should cost no more than 20 on average. Oh, you can Fucking useless piece of shit. Oh. 
with the amount of money we're spending here, it might actually make sense for us to roll this even better. I mean, the, the, the socketed gems and the quality of gems are perfect. Percent damage is tier 1, but, I mean, if I'm spending fucking 200 divines putting this, this, the craft on it, I don't want to have to do this again, so maybe we should get a better one. Uh, we're getting uh, the trigger one. Uh, if anyone asks questions about what the build is going to look like or what I'm doing, I'm not going to answer them anymore, but I'll link you guys this thread. <clears throat> if anyone asks, just link them this thread. Uh, but I, it's just, it's not, no, by no means any one of your faults. I'm just getting tired of answering the same questions over and over. Um, okay. Just look there. I don't know how to, for some reason, chat commands aren't working, but if somebody comes in and asking something about what I'm doing or the discharge build or the weapon craft, can somebody just link them that for me? Uh, I have a hard time jumping topics and stopping to answer questions. That uh, really distracts me. And again, it's none of your guys' faults, but people come in at different times. I end up getting asked the same question like 30, 40 times a stream. Frustrating. Okay, synthesis. League. No, that's not how it works. It doesn't work. I tried doing it on stream earlier. It does it, it does the, the Streamlabs cloud bot does not work. I don't know why. With YouTube, it's not. It does not work. Look. Um. What does no claw mean? I, I want I want I want to interact and answer questions, but can you guys pose real like full questions? No claw question mark. I have no fucking clue what that means. <laughs> um fuck. Sorry, I'm getting a little tilted with this crap. What was I doing? Uh I'm going to need another cigarette, probably. Oh, do you mean the claw, claw I was crafting earlier? No, I hit this. I ended up hitting the strength stacking mod, as well as T1 pen. I know the pen is somewhat meaningless because of... Uh, uh, it goes chaos res, but, uh, you know. Okay, two to four. Two to four, it's not that hard. There's only fucking two options. Jesus Christ. The sword is already rolled. I don't know which one you're talking about. This is perfectly, like, again, what we want is the 6% quality. This is a 25 chaos claw. This was a 7 chaos, 7 divine claw that I then rolled strength stacker mode on. Yeah, I'm not going to look up your build for you, but I can help you with the craft. For any crafting questions anyone ever has for me, there's like two things I need you to know. What mods you want and what your like price range is, basically. When people come to me and they're like, hey, how do you craft an amulet? I don't know. Or how much is it going to cost to craft a plus two amulet? It's like, okay, well, do you just want plus two or do you want five other mods? Um, 
I think, yeah, I need, I need some personal. The dex requirement, that's why I bought the claw to roll after. Uh, but because it's assassin, it's not that big of a deal. Because you start here, you scroll down here, you know, 30 points there, another 10 points there. That's 40 decks, 50 decks, 60, 70 decks, 80 decks, 90 decks, 100 decks. Uh, you know, you're getting it quite easily. Oh, then you come down here and get the aura effect 90, 100, 110, 120. Uh, possibly grab this 100, uh, 120, 130. I, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. It, it's definitely a hindrance. Do I craft items for a fee? Uh, yeah, I would do that as long as the person's competent. Um, and I don't mean competent as in like uh, targeting anyone, but there was someone who asked me to craft an item for him one time. And like, I, he like probably messaged me 65 times. And like, to the point that I was getting so annoyed, I was like, look, here's step-by-step -step instructions. It was actually the only person I've ever kicked out of my discord because he, he annoyed me so much. I gave him step-by-step -step instructions on what to do. And then he would go into the discord general channel and then ask people what to do. I'm like, look, either don't waste my time asking me. I was like, I already told you what the fuck to do. I was like, why are you going and asking 3,000 people who have no idea what they're talking? I was like, it's just a waste of it. And then, you, and then I found out he was taking the items that I was teaching him how to craft. And he was doing it for profit and then just flipping them. Um, and he was putting up a crafting service on TFT. And he was asking me questions from his crafting service. People would like hire him to craft something. And he was messaging me to, to tell him how to do it and then selling it. Uh is yeah i don't mind helping people that have like a a good degree of like when someone just kind of says here fix my problems for me uh it drives me fucking nuts but someone who's like hey here's what i want i'm not sure how to do it these are the mods this is how much you know what i mean where it's like there's some level of like personal uh investment and they're not just being like hey you're on a fucking Hey, you're on a YouTube channel, so I'm entitled to all of your time and knowledge. Drives me a little, that drives me a little nuts. That's not what I was saying. That wasn't targeted at you, by the way, uh, Brandon, I, I, just in general. Well, it annoyed me too, because then he start, then he sent me forum gold on Reddit. I don't even know what the fuck forum gold's for on Reddit. And, and and it was like it was like he was trying to dangle that over my head. It was he was like, hey man, I'm the guy that sent you forum gold. Anyways, I need help with this. And I was like, no, I'm not a pet, like I'm not a fucking hooker. <laughs> All right. I'm not gonna shit on your chest because you sent me fucking I don't know what the fuck forum gold even does, but <laughs> like this shit. What is this stuff for? Forum forum gold. What what is that? Okay, sorry. Oh yeah, synth mods. That's what I was looking at. I don't know how I went from looking up synth mods to talking about hookers taking dumps on chests, but one of those days, one-handed. Okay, let's look at the total amount of mods. So spell damage would be better. That's one mod, two mod, three mods. Oh, it's not even T1 damage. Four mods. Five mods. Six mods. Seven mods. Eight mods. Nine mods. Ten mods. Eleven. 
11 mods, 12 mods, 13 mods, I guess 14 mods, 15 mods. Sixteen mods, seventeen mods, eighteen mods. Yeah, we're gonna be rerolling this. Eighteen mods. Synth mods are synth mods are weighted. Okay, now what we're gonna do is control F one and swords for some reason it shows up twice on each one of these so we just got to divide the number by two as well as subtract one from there 500 uh so that's 271 total mods and there are 18 or 19 good ones so we actually have pretty decent odds here Yeah, guys, send me Reddit gold, and uh, you'll get invited to uh, my private Discord server. Uh, don't don't uh, pay too much attention to the, the, the name of it. It's called the Go Fuck Yourself channel. Uh, I don't need. I don't really need either of them. But uh, Craft of Exile and PoEDB are completely different tools. Like they're they're don't even serve it anywhere near the same function. Synth mods are not listed on Craft of Exile. If you're curious as to why I was looking that up there, it's because it's the only place that has them. For the best profit. I don't even know what the fuck forum gold is. Guys, I write my fucking guides on notepad. And I take screenshots on MS Paint. You think I fucking know what some neckbeard forum gold shit is? Like, no bitch. I don't care if you get a little shiny Reddit post. Talking about, like, your little incel revolution. Leave me alone. Let me craft my items. <laughs> That being said, though, don't forget to like and subscribe. That shit drives me nuts, man. I find that so corny. It's like it's it's awesome when people like it, like videos and like subscribe, but like begging people to, to not begging, but like and I'm not clowning on this dude. I'm sort of clowning on this dude, but like, what's his name? Uh, uh, big, big uh, little not little fucks. Um. Uh, big ducks, uh, not big ducks, big ducks, big ducks. I wanted to fucking sh like punch a hole in the wall when I watched his YouTube video. It was like, Hey guys, like some stupid ass clickbait title about like running heist or some shit. And then like video starts, it's all flashly edited. And then for like 45 seconds, it's like, Hey guys, before we get in today's video, I wanted to remind you that you know, 62% of you guys are still not subscribed to this channel who are watching this video. To punish you guys, I'm going to talk for 62 seconds about inane, unrelated garbage um, so that you can repent your sins and go and subscribe. All right, so now we're going to talk about a league that's been around for seven years. Enjoy. I was like, holy shit. I'm sure lots of people do that. I don't watch many YouTube videos, but <laughs> it just struck me as so corny. So corny. Like if people if people like what you're saying, they'll come back. And if you have to ask someone to be there, probably not the right the people that you want to be there anyway. Um what the fuck was I just doing? Oh yeah, we're gonna re-roll this. No, there's there's no beef. I have no problem with him. I don't even know whatever. I th I think the style of video he does is super corny, but 
like the guy has like 20 times the amount of followers I do. But, so, you know, who's really laughing at the end of the day? That being said, though, for me, like, uh, in a very firm, like, rigid way, I would much prefer to be disliked for who I am than to be liked for someone who I am not. I think that way leads madness. If I can go to sleep at night and know that, like, I was authentic, I, I, I played the game I wanted to, what I was talking about is stuff that I felt qualified to. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not taking shit off stream and like making a video with it from somebody else's or doing 30 different runs or whatever, finding the best results to click bait people in there. You know, if I know like I, I have the merit, the merit of my actions, it gives me the right to, to comment on something and that people are coming and it resonates with them and they find it helpful. Fantastic. If 90% of people want me to go fucking die in a hole, um that's their right to feel that way but i would still prefer that than have 90 percent of people love me because i'm putting on some act yo is that up that is, is the upside down question mark a uh Is the upside down question mark, is that a meme thing or is that a part of a, a uh, your name looks Spanish. Is that, is that part of Spanish? Is that like a, like an actual part of the, uh, um, normal alphabet in Spanish? Well, not the alphabet, but. I realize he's Spanish. That's what I just asked. It's a part. It's part of Spanish. Does it serve the same? It serves the same function as a regular question mark. Like why? Why? Like in that question there, when you have an upside down one and a right side up one, is is there something that distinguishes between the two or no? Uh, this is not me. Like this is not like a. I'm not like memeing. I'm legitimately curious. I don't, I don't speak Spanish. Just, Strikes me as interesting. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Man, I wish, I wish, I wish every, I wish that was part of the English language, because then I would just ban upside down question marks, and I'd be like, haha, fuckers, I don't have to answer any stupid ass questions anymore. <laughs> that, that would actually be so troll, like make a stream title called like, ask me anything, like AMA about crafting, helping viewers, and then, and then have the upside down question mark banned. <laughs> uh, that'd be really funny. <laughs> uh, that's kind of cool, though. I, I like that. I believe in stating one's intentions clearly. I, I believe in a strong topic sentence. I support that. Tough, you're kind of a you're kind of an annoying dude, eh? <laughs> and ninety nine percent of what you say is either written in caps lock or non productive or like semi critical. I, I think I'd almost respect someone who just comes out and says "fuck you" more than someone who like lurks around for twelve hours a day writing like somewhat backhanded comments all the time. Um.
The form post for discharge build is nice. There's no POB or skill tree to go after. Uh, that's because skill trees change and it's three leagues old, and I don't use path of building. Um, if you can't figure it out yourself, then play a different build. I did caps before that, yeah, but I'm not watching you. You're watching me. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. In the words of Eric Cartman. It's made where you're just like, you're kind of like, your mom's coming over sick. Not that every stepmother or, or you know, mother of, of a girlfriend ever been this like that, but like that, that, you know, you know what I mean? Like that kind of comment. It's like, what it's why I respect guys more when they get into fights with their friends and girls. Like guys, guys will get like into a yelling match or like a fucking little brawl and like dap each other at the end and be like, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, dude. We're good. We're good. And girls will like sit there being like, no, I'm fine. And then like, you'll go home and like, they'll tell you for 45 minutes why they're not fine and why she's a bitch. And she slept with someone when she was like on spring break and her boyfriend doesn't know. And it's like, holy shit. <laughs> just, just, just go out and say it. Uh, but again, that's, you know, everyone's different. That's my. The French have the accent thing you? Yeah. Or that way, is that accent quoi? I don't know. I learned French because a French girl lied to me about being pregnant and I moved in with her and her Quebecois family. Uh but my actual like like I can speak it a little bit, like not fluently at all. Uh but like by virtue of how I learned it, it wasn't like I was like I wasn't taking it in like a collegiate fashion, right? So the uh specific terms um yeah i know i know one of them accent goût, or accent aigu accent grave and circumflex circumflex i forget which one's which though how long was in the military uh just under three years i got medically released when covid hit uh i felt during during an ftx i fell through a frozen river uh i had like a i don't know 60 or 70 pounds in my rucksack and i was carrying a uh, I guess in layman's terms, a machine gun. Um, I fell through, I had to get spinal surgery from that. And then, uh, when we were out on the M203 uh, grenade launcher range, my, uh, my gallbladder exploded in my stomach and I had to get stomach surgery. And then the doctor who did my surgery fucked up and cut open my liver, uh, accidentally. So then they had to go back in and sew that shut. Um, then, uh, I fell through a tank rut as well and had to get knee reconstruction. And then my, uh, I started losing uh, sensation in my fingers. And at that point they were like, yeah, dude, you're, you're done. <laughs> Peace. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I can't. I, I think I'm gonna have to hide chat for a minute. I I honestly can't focus on two topics. Um.
I just get a goddamn link here. There we go. Why is this so difficult? Why can't I just have a playlist? Chop my head off if I have to listen to the high note music anymore. This is no better. The fuck is this trash? Okay, I can do anything here. Is the volume okay for that? On your guys' end, is the volume okay? That good? Holy shit. Did you guys see that? I almost rolled over. Oh. Fuck me.
I just heard sword yet. Yo, hold up. Did that just not... <coughs> Did that just re-roll the exact same mods at the exact same values? I just heard sword yet. 41 crit. Those are three divines each. That's fucking bullshit. Fucking beast here, man. It's like the fifth time this shit's broken for me to sleep. No, I'm just saying, I re-rolled the mod and it didn't... The, the fucking beast was consumed. I killed beast and it didn't even change the mod. It didn't re-roll the mod at all. The, the bestiary stole half a mirror of vultures from me earlier in the league. GGG refused to, refused to admit it was a bug. Ooh, 11 divines. I'm going for a cigarette. Um, I just wanted to confirm that that actually happened. Because sometimes, uh, occasionally that happens and I feel like I'm going nuts. But that like 100% happened, right? Like it just didn't re-roll a mod. It does happen a lot, okay. I don't know if you guys saw, you can check it out on my Reddit post uh, while I'm uh, while I'm going out here, but um, it, it Beast Theory, uh, there, there's 270 mods, uh, sorry to clarify that the likelihood of this happening. There's 270 mods, and the, the range on this is 38, 39, 40, 41, 4, and the range on that quality is 6. So even if I rolled the exact same mod, which again would be 1 in 241, it would then also have a 1 in um, 12 chance of then rolling the exact same values. So, um, or sorry, a 1 in 4 chance. So it would be a 1 in 1,000 at best that that would ever happen. But that's like the third time today it's happened. It's not it's not that big of a deal on most beast crafts, but these vultures, like every vulture is three divines. Every chimera is two divines. Um but also the uh, earlier in the league, uh I I, I I cleared out like three hundred spots for my, my beast area. And every time I equipped a beast, it would it would delete a vivid vulture. Um, and it, it destroyed half a mirror worth of vivid vultures before I noticed, because it doesn't tell you what beast it's removing, right? It just says the name of it. And it says that it's removing it based on the date added. So I added 200 vultures. And for some reason, like it said, it was removing older beasts. I was like, okay, who gives a shit? Cause there were no good beasts in there. And then 50 of them, like after 50 of them, I realized that every time I added a vulture, it was removing a vulture. Then I started adding chimeras and it removed vultures. Half a mirror is worth. I wrote GGG a message and they were like, yeah, we can't confirm or deny whether or not this is a bug. We've sent it along to our bug team. We will not be contacting you to let you know if it's a bug. If it is a bug, the only way you'll know is if it's in a patch note. <laughs> I was like, all right, great, thanks. I was like, do you mind letting me know if it's player error at least? Because like that way I can figure it out. But if it's something that's wrong with the game, I can just wait to roll the multiple mirrors worth of beasts I have. They were like, nope. I was like, all right, just going to go fuck myself. All right, I need a cigarette.
Partner with a budding artist? Oh my god. I'm gonna start putting a thing that just like I to figure out what I make on these streams usually just from ad revenue. And like the second I make that much from like a fucking Patreon or whatever, I'm just gonna use that as a <laughs> Okay, we hit that we hit we hit our target for today. I'm gonna put on the music I wanna listen to and then just fuck copyright. <laughs> Um, POE music is like literally fucking Chinese water torture. This isn't that bad though. Intimidate on hits a sweet mod, just no application here. A lot of lo-fi music though, like I feel I feel like I'm like a girl has asked me out on a date and we're going to like some like trendy new bar and it's really her like trying to like lure me into like an MLM scheme. Are VODs monetized? Yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't I don't even know. Because I, I switched to YouTube like three weeks ago. I've never even looked into it. I actually don't care if you guys see this. Let's see how much money I've made. Um, I keep getting emails saying that I haven't connected my uh, taxes and shit. So I, I legit haven't even looked at this. Creator Studio. Let's see. Yeah, see, getting paid. <laughs> oh, here, that's in the way. Uh, I don't know where to, where do I do that? Oh my god. Where do I look to see that? I don't even know where to see that. Where do I find that out? Revenue tab? Where's that? I mean, this is the dollar sign. Revenue. I'm actually kind of curious. I haven't even, I, I, I've not seen that yet. Why is this so hard to figure out? It's ridiculous. Okay, here. What the fuck? Why can't this is so obscene? All right, go back to the first page. Mm. 
Where was it? Go back to the first page. It was a tab inside of the first icon. Where this on this page? Oh, there. Eight hundred dollars. Sixty-two thousand hours watched. Eight hundred dollars. How much does that translate to? Doesn't seem like a lot. Divided by sixty-two thousand. One cent per watch hour. What does that translate to in views? Three hundred eighty-five thousand. Oh, oh, here it is. Okay, it's only been monetized. Okay, so I, I, I'm on, I, when did I make my channel? Okay, so I started getting monetized, I guess, here. So it's what, like $10 a day, $65, it was my best day. Ooh, TFT, RMTing. 129 bucks. The same price as one mirror. <laughs> I don't know what CPM is. I don't I didn't even know like I knew I knew that this was monetized. I didn't even know what it was though. Oh there, yeah, okay, live. $193. I, I don't know if that's good or not. Oh, fan funding. What's that? Oh, is that when I get the notifications? What's sorry? What's CPM? It's like donations, okay. And funding. I didn't even know that was an option on YouTube. I guess that's what those notifications are. Sometimes there's like a little yellow thing that pops up. A good CPM is like 10, well, what was mine? Where do I see CPM? This is pretty cool though, look at this. Look, less than a month ago, we had a thousand subs and then 8,000, 7,000 7, subs in a month. That's kind of cool. Okay, so views divided by revenue. So views divided by revenue is 385,000 divided by 871. Uh, I, I started my channel less than a month ago. I started, like I started my channel January. Uh, less than a month ago, I started my channel. See? Uh, Oh wow, that's pretty crazy. Oh no, that's that's live. What's what's videos? Let's see. That seems pretty good. Average person watching for eight minutes. That seems pretty high. Because I I think something like thirty five percent of people leave after the first thirty seconds, right?
is good. I, I don't know what like the standard are for these. But it's pretty obvious that I should be making more videos and doing less live streams. Look at that. It really only takes you 30 seconds to finish. I already made that joke. Get fucked. <laughs> I think one of my videos starts off by saying, uh, what was it? I didn't think of it ahead of time, but it was just, it came to me in a second that it got upvoted quite a bit. I think it's, oh yeah, it was, now that I know what it feels like to be on the other side of somebody finishing in 30 seconds and then leaving, it doesn't feel so great. <laughs> I think that was the joke I said. God, I'm funny. Fuck. Oh, yeah, I think it was this video. Oh, yeah, here. I like live streaming because it like makes playing the game more fun, but I haven't made a video in like a week. I should actually probably make, make a video about like, I've crafted two mirror items without making a video. Yesterday, I made 1900 divines or four and a half mirrors on stream without making a video. I should probably make a video. I don't know. I don't know how to edit videos, so maybe I'll make one today. <clears throat> okay. You guys can be there for my creative process. Which involves me pressing a record button. Because I don't know how to do anything else. <laughs> yeah. That's Giga Charles to you, baby. Giga Chad's my street name. Can make videos for my live streams. Yeah, we found this out this morning. Oh, fuck! Four percent fire is extra, or six percent fire is extra chaos damage. Would have been sick, but it removed quality. Um, yeah, we found this out earlier. Yeah, I don't really want to have an editor or anything. If people can't, if people can't sit there to listen to the information, they don't deserve the information. Um my my take at least based of course uh i found this out earlier but look at this i wanted to keep my videos constantly going just so people could see what i was doing right but you see where's the duration uh here so this this stream was 50 hours five zero hours long oh no sorry this one so this one was 52 hours long this one was 30 hours long and then I came to find out, look at this. It doesn't, it doesn't let you archive videos longer than 12 hours. So I got to be careful with my streams uh, for video sake, because I lost all the stuff I did yesterday, for example. There's no recording of it now. I had no idea, because on Twitch, on Twitch, it doesn't do that. On Twitch, it just does 48 hours, and then it resets, but it still keeps the VOD. I didn't know that YouTube was different. Um, so that's why, if you recall, when I started this. Just restart every two, 12 hours? Wow, man. You must you must have a PhD in that math. Was, was, was this your process? Jinx maths. The task one of the TFT ones, yeah. Did you see what I posted a screenshot of earlier? Um, somebody from the TFT guild. Somebody from the TFT guild sold me 47 vivid vultures earlier. Um, Hey, what's that? What's that? What's that blue thing there? Is that uh L L L? Sorry, it's on my TV, which is like fifteen feet away. This is gonna make me look so fucking old, but I need to like, 
Uh, LTGVI, L, fucking that name is a nightmare. Uh, Euro two twenty two. Hello, I love your show. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate that, dude. Thank you very much. What is it? LTGIVTM. Sex cult. Ooh, the Euro. Dot Yaros. Uh, this is better than our previous version. That's not T1 spell damage, though. Your name sounds like a celebrity sex cult, but I appreciate you. Yeah, we need some etymology up in this bitch. Yes, you can. You can reroll on a uh, unique item. You can also do it on that unique jewel that came out. Can't remember the name of it. That's where you have the most resistances. Yep, it's a pretty easy answer. Also, with respect to Omnis, I should probably have... Wait, let me, let me, let me get my Flex Omni. Let me get my Flex Omni. All right. You want plus one Curse Omni? We got it. You want Dex Int Intelligence Omni? We got it. You want hatred, perfect roll hatred omni? We got it. You want wrath, strength, int hatred? We got it. You want strength, dex, and plus one curse omni? We got it. I just don't.
Okay, before we keep rolling, I'm gonna do a quick video. It's only gonna be like a five minute video. I'll just record it with you guys here. I don't give a shit um, about the ring. Two reasons. Number one, I haven't made a YouTube video in a while. And also my most recent video being about the TFT. Uh, it, I, you know, when people come to the live stream, it's often what they ask. So I think I'd, I'd prefer if people come in here and ask about, uh, discharge stuff or, you know, stuff related to the game. And not a bench of fucking giga cucks. Two plus two is four minus one. That's three quick maps. You have some discharge questions for me? Good. Hold on to them, bottle them up, write them down on a piece of paper, and never ask me them because I hate answering questions. Make a bit. I don't care what's popular. 99% of crafting videos are made by people who have no business making crafting videos. I will make the videos that I want to make, and if people like them, people like them. I do not care because at the end of the day, most of them have profiles that look like Sir Gugs. Okay. All right, let's make sure I'm in appropriate video attire. What can I put on to look more deranged for the right crowd? What the fuck are RPM? Respects per minute? All right. You look like Sir Gogs a little. All right, let's make your video. I gotta hide chat. Good day, mate. Reporting live from from the back screen access of the Blair Witch Project. I'm so scared. Okay, today we're going to talk about um, something that I noticed on um, a different website because I've never done it myself. We're going to take a look at a flask here. You'll notice that um, we've got a flask here. Uh, we've got a flask with a tier, tier 1 charge here. Um, I don't actually have any one of these tier 1 charges on my flasks. Um, but if, if we investigate further... We'll see that I knows a lot about everything. <laughs> Cause I knows everything. I knows it all. All right, but let's stick to the real content here, boys. I would never ever I would never ever do anything insulting or, or to, you know, dramatic or 
causing drama about that or, you know. Um, and if you want to know my stance on these things, I did put out a press release earlier. I, I put out a press release. Uh, here's my press release. For anyone that I've offended, guys, I, I you know. I ridiculed everyone on the run I just want to say I'm the bottom of my heart. I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double chance does what the f he wants. All right, discharge daddies. All right, let me get uh, let me get some water here for the video. <clears throat> uh oh, boys. I ran out of Coke Zero. The steam engine has lost its coal. Yeah. Video time. Um. All right. First things first. Let's get the poor out of the air. Okay. Cleansing wealthy energies. Reddit drama. Okay, now that we've cleansed the poverty from the air. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think that went through. Oh. Mm. Oh. Tastes like going down on a girl in the fucking Jersey Shore era. Oh. Like. A distinct taste of like New Jersey snatch in my mouth right now. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, get this guy, leave the party. What the fuck? Oh, okay. <laughs> I had to stop recording after two words. Because so I was going to start with what the fuck is up, discharge daddies. And then I realized if I start with what the fuck, I can't monetize the video. All right, three words in. Let's start over. Um, I'm gonna have some background music on in this video, I guess. Turn it down on my TV. Just wait till I start talking about my cock ring, Tebble. Discharge daddies with my cock ring. Oh.
All right, what's going on? Discharge Daddies, Belden here. Uh, I know I've made a video in a little bit, so I just want to give you guys an update on what has been going on in game for me. We've had a pretty productive week outside of all of the, uh, you know, stuff going on with TFT. Uh, I've actually managed to craft a couple mirror items. I'll, I'll make each one an independent video because uh, I know people uh, like to a bit of a shorter format. Uh, as well, yesterday I did some profit stuff uh, where we made 4.7 mirrors of profit in a single stream. Uh, but we'll get to that at a different point. The bigger news here um, is that uh, we have uh, achieved what I've been uh, actually going after for quite a long time. For four or five leagues now, I've been pursuing uh, this one singular item. Uh, as a longtime Discharge player, uh, my, my true passion in the game being Discharge, uh, this holds a special place for me. If any of you are familiar with what I uh, went through in uh, Sentinel League, uh, it was all in pursuit of this. Um, and uh, I'll go into the specifics of it, but I know you guys probably want to see what I'm talking about. And so here it is. A thing of beauty. Um, this is by far uh, the rarest uh, synthesis ring probably ever made in the game. Uh, and I will go through the specifics as to why that's the case. Uh, obviously, this is a market that I'm very acutely aware of, uh, having spent hundreds and hundreds of mirrors crafting and pursuing these rings in the past. Uh, in fact, in Sentinel League, I spent 50 mirrors alone just trying to craft one ring. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, I'll go through what makes this so rare, so valuable, and so cool, and so special to me uh, shortly here. But I uh, just wanted to share this with you because uh, it's not that often that I have one of those moments where it's like, you know, unlocking a core memory in PoE, and this is definitely one of them. Uh, you can see that I, I've, I've crafted this up already. Um, we've got that uh, 6 tier 1 or 5 tier 1 with the crafted mod. Um, and the specifications on this ring are uh, to that of Discharge. Uh, I'll make another video about this soon, but uh, as another announcement, I will be starting back playing Discharge again now that I have uh, a reason to do so. Uh, I've got another couple crafts going as well as, uh, you know, I've spent a couple mirrors crafting a Discharge weapon today, uh, but I'll cover that in another video in the future. Um, so this ring, what makes it so valuable? Why is it so cool? Why was I going after it? Naturally, as a Discharge player, you want to be stacking charges as best you can. Um, and, uh, you know, with the inception of uh, the Sentinel mods being able to get, uh, you know, Power Frenzy and Endurance Charges as explicits, naturally that gave a lot of value to implicit uh, Frenzy and Synth, or sorry, Synthesis mods that could have any one of those charges as well. Um, <clears throat> typically, uh, in the past, I would have been going for springs that just had one of these mods, but what was introduced this league with Synthesis, sorry, with Synthesis re-rolling uh, via the, uh, the Beastcraft, uh, obviously, it unlocks a ton of opportunities with that. Um, however, uh, it's it's very unlikely. Um, in the back of my mind, I, I knew how <laughs> unlikely it would be to ever actually hit something like this. So I never really gave it a good effort. Uh, and for the sake of full disclosure here, I actually did trade for for I for this item, uh, not for it in its entirety. I did end up rolling the third mod, uh, but it's kind of a funny story. And so I'll go through that real quick. How how I was able to get it. Uh, and I'm not sure if this has ever actually happened before, and any of you that are familiar with trade deadlines in sports, it was similar to that. Uh, in the fact that we had a three-way trade. <laughs> so what had happened was someone popped onto my stream, and I was talking about uh, rolling this ring actually here, where I had a frenzy charge on it, and somebody was asking what my ideal mods were. I then went on, you know, a long rant as I obviously do, or as I uh, uh, frequently do, about, you know, how I would love to get another charge on there, and how much I love Discharge. And this guy just happens to go, oh, you know, I have I have a ring that has an imprint of a frenzy and power charge on it. And I go, wait, what? And he goes, I was like, why is it an imprint? And he goes, oh, well, because I'm playing Flicker Strike. I can't remember what the build was, but he was playing something specifically where he wanted the frenzy charge and something else. And so this guy actually had rolled over uh, the, the frenzy and power charge and put attack modifiers on it. And this, I was literally aghast at this because... Again, I'll get into the specifics of why it's so hard to roll this in a minute, but um, I couldn't believe it. And I, you know, I asked him to send me a screenshot because I was like, "Look, I will pay anything to get this ring. Uh, I've been pursuing this for such a long time. In fact, I'm not going to show you my phone here, but actually, I can do it on my phone. I have several bookmarks. Uh, most of them are for in real world or you know, real life activities. However, I do have one bookmark. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there very clearly, that little Path of Exile trade bookmark. And that is actually a trade search for two charge rings. I've had that there for five leagues in a row. That is how long I've been looking for one of these. So the fact that some random guy just pops up in Twitch chat and tells me he's got an imprint of one, okay, game on. So I asked him what it's gonna cost him. I started offering him multiple mirror bases. 
Uh, I was like, look, I'll pay you 10 mirrors for that, whatever. He goes, honestly, man, he's like, I'm not like a big economy guy. He goes, I just want to get the good version of my Frenzy Charge ring. Uh, and what he wanted specifically was a Frenzy Charge synthesis that also had cold damage for Frenzy Charge. I didn't have one of those specifically, so I go look up on uh, the trade site. And there are a few of them. However, naturally, Janubu and uh, RMTFT have most of them, uh, you know, by virtue of how, how they work with the mirror market. But I did see one person uh, who had one up for sale. And it just so happened that earlier this week, I actually rolled a dex percent in percent onslaught on hit ring that I didn't really feel like crafting because one of my guildmates already had one mirror crafted. Uh, and I actually had sold my ring base to this guy. And so, so I knew him. We had somewhat of a personal relationship because we talked a lot during that discussion process. Um, I ended up selling him that ring for five mirrors. So, you know, there was, we were on each other's friends list. So I messaged the guy and I go, Hey man, I really want to buy this. Um, you know, are you interested in any of the rings that I have currently? I'll trade any one of them one for one, uh, again, because I wanted to trade with him and then go and get that, uh, the frenzy power charge ring. Uh, he wasn't interested, but he goes, you know, I'm looking for best in slot stuff basically that I can recombinate after the league on standard. And I was like, all right, fuck it. I, I like, this has been a long, long-term pursuit. So we're going to go after it. So what I did was I bought a power charge synthesis ring similar to this, where it was, uh, uh, this one is actually finished, but it was just a power charge with two throwaway mods. Um, oh, sorry. No, it wasn't. It was power charge with a uh, 7% strength, which is incredibly good. Um, and for some reason, the guy posted it for only 330 divines. To put some perspective on that, a power charge ring with three implicits uh, by itself is worth about 300 divines. So he was only giving a 30 divine value to the strength, uh, which is pretty crazy because uh, if anyone has spent any time rolling beasts, you know it would probably cost you somewhere around one to two mirrors uh, to add a second, uh, you know, to add a second mod like that. Not to mention strength percent is actually uh, one of the higher value mods this league because of the prevalence of strength stacking. Anyways, I obviously jumped on it. Um, not too long uh, after, I was able to actually roll Strength Percent, Power Charge, and Intimidate on hit. An incredibly strong combo. Um, I linked it to the guy who had the Frenzy and Cold Damage for Frenzy Charge ring. And uh, he was like, all right, that's good enough for me. Uh, I'll take it. And at this point, though, I wasn't actually sure if the Frenzy and Power Charge ring even existed. Because, again, the guy didn't have any screenshots. And he said it was just an imprint he had, right? And so... You know, with all that was going on with TFT and with the different things they've done to sort of, I don't want to say sabotage me or tinfoil hat, but the reality of the situation is that they've actively tried to interfere with my success in a variety of different matters. So, you know, I, I wanted to make sure this wasn't someone just fucking with me so I would, you know, trade away a really good item. So what happened was all three of us came to my hideout um, and we got the guy who had the frenzy charge ring because I traded with him before he trusted me. So he traded the guy who had the power charge ring, the frenzy power charge. The Frenzy Power Charge guy ring then traded me that ring. And once I had received the ring base, I then traded my ring to the other guy. So we did a little triangle trade where all of us got what we wanted. Uh, what was on there initially was actually this mod here, Life Gain on Hit with Attacks. Um, so it was Frenzy, Power Charge, Life Gain on Hit with Attacks. Uh, at that point, I was like, look, I'm going all in. This is like one of the coolest items ever. Uh, and something that I've personally been pursuing and going after for a very long time. Um, so I loaded up on some beasts and uh, we got ready to go. Um, somewhat, I don't know if it's ironic or just, just serendipitous, but I was asked beforehand, what is your ideal mod here, Belton? You know, a couple, I've got a hundred people were watching at the time. Um, and, uh, you are like, do you want to get an endurance charge? And that might seem like the first thought, but spell damage per power charge is actually what I replied with. And the reason for that being that, um, the majority, uh, as a baseline for any discharge build right now, you're going to have bare, bare minimum of 11 power charges. Three base, three from the tree. Uh, you're, you're two from your rings. That's eight. Two from your helmet, and then one from uh, you know either assassin, occultist, or whatever. So that's eleven charges. So if you get spell damage per power charge, that's seventy-seven percent spell damage as a single mod. Uh, and as well, presumptively, most people would either have a mirror copy of the same ring or would use Calandra's touch. So it's actually one hundred and fifty-four percent. Now, uh, why that's actually better than endurance charge is. If you go look at the 100% chance for uh, discharge to not consume charges build that I made uh, in Sentinel League, which is what we're gonna try and replicate here, but in a different version, uh, I'm actually gonna do it with original sin. So stay tuned for some content on that if you uh, are interested in those lines. Um, because, uh, yeah, sorry, because we're going that, that route. Uh, if you look at that build, uh, I actually had 32 total charges, right? And so what the charges are, are used for is the base damage of the spell. 
Uh, and so if you have 32 total charges, adding two endurance charges, assuming you use the rank twice, uh, is only 1 16th of your overall charge pool, right? Uh, which means it's roughly 6.5, 6.6% of uh, increase in damage um, or more damage, right? So one thing that discharge doesn't have though, because by virtue of the fact you have to travel so many points, right, to get all of the charges that you need for the build, uh, you don't actually have very many sources of increased damage. You, by virtue of uh, gems, you have lots of sources of more multipliers. You also have lots of base damage from the charges. And also because you pass by so many jewels while you're traveling, typically you'll have 100% crit and lots of crit multi. But sources of increased damage are, are pretty scarce. Uh, so having increased damage like that uh, would be somewhere around 20% more damage. Uh, not only that, but it also makes it so the ring can be used by other builds, right? If you've got Frenzy, Power, Endurance Charge, it's only really going to apply to Discharge builds. But the way that I have it right now, there are a variety of different builds that would be uh, find those uh, implicits appealing. So um, anyways, this was the discussion I had before we started rolling it, picked up some beasts and, and started going for it. Um, as it so happened, uh, for the first time this league and like, God bless, we actually hit the exact mod I was looking for. So, you know, I've rolled a variety. Uh, this is this will be now the uh, eighth mirror item that I've crafted this league uh, by myself. Um, so you can see there, we got the one ring, the bow, uh, another Omni ring, the quiver, the belt, another ring, another ring, and another ring. Um, <clears throat> so obviously I'm, I'm very acutely aware of, of, of rolling rings, what roughly the mods, uh, weightings are. They're not actually hard lines, so it, it's more of a feeling. Um, but you know, I've rolled somewhere around five to 6,000 beasts and I've seen this mod show up maybe three or four times. Uh, so in my mind, it was, that was like an ideal thing, but I was just really hoping to get something good. The fact that we were able to hit this and hit this so quickly uh, was like a message from God that, you know, Belton, you got to get back to your roots. Let's play some Discharge. Uh, so anyways, after we hit that implicit uh, and, you know, I, I, I fucking fist pumped it for a little bit um, and just sort of took in the moment, we got to crafting the explicits. Uh, it actually only took me an hour and a half to get it from, from when I bought it to make it 61 mirror worthy. And that's including the time it took me to farm an Ashling uh, from, a, from a brand new tree. So crafting rings to get them to the state is rather easy as long as you have the currency to do it. Um, and then we got it to where it's at right now. Uh, the one little, the, the one little knacking thing is that the, the chaos res is one, one res shy of perfect. Um, however, you know, it, to get just the suffixes to divine the suffixes perfectly is a one in a hundred, which means it's a hundred divines. Uh, I didn't really think that spending a quarter of a mirror for one chaos res really, uh, merited the cost. Um, and anyway, so we put that up. Uh, and I decided to start rolling a discharge build afterwards. Uh, this ring has already been mirrored twice. Uh, I put it up for a 200 divine fee. However, uh, because I spent so much doing it, I was excited to have it. And in my mind, again, you know, I obviously don't RFT and I, I don't actually particularly care about stacking wealth that much. I just really love crafting. Um, and the highest compliment for me is that when I make an item so cool that somebody else actually wants to use it, right? They want their own copy. I think that's like the highest form of flattery, right? Uh, and especially if I have like almost no currency on me, uh, I'm not going to be too nitpicky. So I let the first person mirror it for 100 and I think 118 divines and the second one mirror it for 150 divines. Uh, that's not nothing though, because that means today I've made, you know, almost uh, more than half a mirror just on fees on this one ring alone. Um, we also had our bow mirrored today's too. So actually I've done, I've, I've made more than a mirror today just in mirror fees. Um, regardless though, this is one of the coolest items I think I've ever had. Um, I'll just give you some other little quick context for those of you that, that are unfamiliar with, um, you know, my, my past, uh, my past pursuits with this, and then we'll get into why this, uh, this ring is actually so valuable. Uh, if you take a look here, these are, these are my ring collection from, uh, uh, from Sentinel League. And I actually own a hundred percent of these, uh, in the game, uh, the four charge rings you can see here, this is the one and only, uh, four charge ring that has two power charges. Um, then we've got another four charge ring here with double endurance charge. Uh, we've got again, frenzy with double cold damage, uh, and T1 life. We've got power, power charge there, four charges, endurance, four charges, endurance, uh, Ellie weakness on hit power charge, frenzy, frenzy, power, T1 life. Uh, here we've got, uh, added damage of cold T1 life, double frenzy. Uh, here we've got, uh, Wetzel life, power charge, power charge, T1 crit multi attack speed. Uh, etc. I have a, another four charge ring um, as well. Here you can see we've got a frenzy charge, power charge, cast speed one. 
Uh, this is, there's, there's a couple of these floating around in standard, uh, but they're all rolled shitty like this and they're all mirrored. So you can't craft on them. Not to mention cast speed. This is actually even T2 cast speed. Uh, that's obviously a much worse implicit, even if this were craftable. Um, max charge. Anyways, suffice it to say, I, I've spent a, a great degree, a, a great deal of time pursuing these rings in the past. And, uh, for someone who crafts and plays as much as I do, it's, it's hard to find, uh, you know, those, those kind of unique, uh, experiences that you haven't had before that are, that are, uh, you know, they kind of stand out in your memory. And this is definitely one of those. So I'm super, super proud and super happy to have hit this. And uh, I thought you guys might enjoy seeing it. Um, now, as to my claims about this being one of the rarest and most expensive ring bases, uh, I know there's probably going to be some comments or some dissenting opinions on this. So I'll elaborate on what I mean there uh, real quick. Um, <clears throat> using the term best ring ever uh, is definitely a misnomer and it's, it's misleading. Uh, best does not consider, um, you know, uh, factors like... Um, uh, what build you're playing, uh, you know, what's changing in the meta, etc. right? Different items and, and different mods are going to be best for different builds. So there's no way to say it's the best ring, but I can actually pretty definitively prove that this is the rarest ring based uh, and most expensive ring base ever made. Um, and it's pretty simple, simple to do that. And this is easily to, easy to look up on your own. Uh, the most expensive synthesis mod that you can have on any item in the game, any item in the game, not just rings, is a power charge synthesis ring. All right, uh, that's more expensive than plus one arrow on a quiver, more expensive than plus one arrow on a bow, uh, more expensive than onslaught and intimidate percentage attributes, whatever. The most expensive single synthesis mod you can have is a power charge on a ring. Um, you can look this up across any league uh, as well as any historical data, and that's universally true. The second most expensive mod that you can have on any synthesis is a frenzy charge. Uh, same thing, take a look, you can see it on any market yourself. Um, so we have the combination of the two rarest and most expensive mods, uh, on one item and to highlight how rare and how valuable those are, uh, compared to, uh, other mods here, we'll just take a, I'll, I'll give you a little quick glance here. So we got front power and frenzy. So we take a look here. You can see power charge rings start at 160 divines. If you're to raise that to three implicits, which is one thing, by the way, if you're pricing out uh, synthesis mods or synthesis items, it's very important to distinguish between ones that have three mods and not. You can see there's not a single one of them with three mods that's less than a mirror with power charges. But just for a single mod power charge, it's 160 divines. For a frenzy charge, 110, 130. This person just posted it an hour ago. This is actually rather unpriced. Anyone that's watching in chat right now, if you want to flip something, uh, this, oh, actually it's only item level 77. That's why I take that back guys. I uh, don't, I wouldn't actually buy that at 77. Um, but you can see 120 divines, uh, to put some perspective on that, uh, another mod that a lot of people consider to be one of the best ones, um, that is uh, highly sought after and pretty much universal, um, would be onslaught. And you can see here, that's only 20 divines. So a Frenzy Charge is six times more expensive. Power Charge is eight times more expensive. Uh, Onslaught, I would say, is probably the third most valuable uh, mod total. Uh, this league, there's been a, a lot of value put towards, um, you know, attribute stacking, uh, particularly because a lot of mirror builds are using Omni, but even strength stacking, you can see here, 30 Divines even. Actually, I guess this league is a bit more expensive. So this is probably the third most valuable one. Um, but anyways, my point being, by an order of magnitude, uh, power and frenzy uh, are, are far, far more expensive. Um, and as to the claim, again, I guess just to prove this, if we're going to look at, uh, say, plus one arrow on a bow, they start as cheap as three divines. Uh, a quiver actually is probably a, a bit more expensive. Let's see. 200. Oh, is that three mods or not? Okay, well, this is actually, you know what? Um, I think this is just by virtue of people having rolled them this league as well. You can see this is only uh, three mod ones. Let me take a look on offline. Uh, again, if you look at a three mod power charge, it starts at a mirror. Um, 195. Uh, well, these are all three mod ones though. So it's a little bit misleading because again, power charges is, is that. But uh, if, we're, if we're just being objective here, I suppose that could be considered to be more valuable. But again, those are all three mod implicit synthesis ones. Uh, and if we are to look at three mod implicits um, on uh, Frenzy or Power, uh, they both are higher. You can see uh, 240 online and offline. 
uh, is a bare minimum there, 280 online. So technically, uh, it's still correct. I just don't think that there were any single mod uh, plus one arrow quivers on the market, that's all. Uh, in any case though, uh, you can see that there, that's gonna be universal across leagues. Um, the two rarest mods specifically, uh, as well, uh, just to, to speak to the rarity of the item itself, uh, you can take a look at power, power and frenzy charges here, uh, just to have those two mods combined. <clears throat> And there is only one item that exists. Uh, we'll do online, offline. Uh, this item right here, I actually just showed this to you guys, the cast speed frenzy one. Uh, this is uh, back when you were able to use beasts to split them, which is why they're all mirrored. Obviously this is not craftable. Um, so it, it's somewhat negated. I'll turn off mirror items here. Uh, even if it worked though, obviously that third implicit is terrible. This is the only other ring in the game, um, base wise that has power and frenzy charge. Uh, and, and as you can see, the third mod here uh, is rarity. Uh, this guy has, this guy had a lot of balls and I'll give him credit for this because he did actually recombine this to add another frenzy and power charge. Um, so in an absolute sense, this ring as it currently sits would totally be more valuable than mine. That being said though, obviously by virtue of the fact that he's put these mods onto them, he's never going to re-roll the third implicit, which again, uh, it leads me to my conclusion that, uh, the spell damage for power charge frenzy power is the most valuable ring base that has ever existed in this game. Um, and again, this is standard here, obviously in leagues, uh, you know, they don't exist aside from my own, of course, um, spell damage for power charge, uh, is by far, I think one of the, like, if not the top mod, uh, it's definitely top three, uh, especially with Calandra's touch being so cheap, things like Ellie weakness on hit or onslaught on hit or anything like that, where, uh, if they're replicated with Calandra's touch, it doesn't add any additional value that tends to diminish the value of that mirror item. So this is one of the new mirror items I crafted this week that I haven't uh, shared with you guys yet, but you can see here it's dex percent, ins percent, Ellie weakness on hit. Uh, if I were to use Calandra's touch here, the Ellie weakness on hit, uh, does it, you can't apply that twice, right? So it's basically a wasted mod. So that's why things like spell damage per power charge are so valuable. You could make an argument for endurance charge, I suppose, um, just for a discharge build, but in general, this would uh, absolutely be one of the top tier, if not the absolute best mod that you could have. Um, so yeah, that's the story of the ring, guys. Uh, I hope, uh, you know, hope this, I know this type of video doesn't really involve a guide or anything like that, but a uh, really exciting moment for me. So I, I thought uh, you guys might uh, find that interesting and um, pretty cool to see, uh, you know, one of the best of something. And I'm pretty proud of this one. So uh, I'll try to make a couple more videos, update you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, let me know if you're looking forward to seeing some discharge content or if you have any questions along those lines, because I'd love to talk about it. All right, cheers, lads. All right, bitches, I'm done the video. I don't have to be nice anymore. Fuck you, cat. I gotta hide my screen for a sec. That's how I do all my videos. I just, I sit there, I press record and I talk like that. That's why they end up being so long. That one's only 20 minutes though, which I think is fantastic for me. I don't care about optimizing. I, I've said this a hundred times. I didn't even know, I didn't even know how to look on the revenue on my stream. And as it showed, I haven't even, <laughs> I haven't even connected to a bank account. It's awesome. And like, it, it's definitely helpful. I really appreciate everyone who does financially support and stuff like that, but uh, it's never going to be my, I'm never going to, I don't want to be like the next Zizzerin. I want to be the first Belfin. Whether or not that resonates with people, that's fine. But it's not my style to edit shit. And I'm certainly not going to cut myself off to match some like SEO or fucking algorithm. I'm not going to let an algorithm dictate what I want to talk about. Uh, okay.
She couldn't tell me no So please teach, explain to me My all the family Hey, Zegra, thanks, dude. Appreciate you, brother. <laughs> I forget what I put in the description of my other videos. Uh, I respect your hospital. You do you and don't let anyone bring you down. You've had to endure a fair share of unnecessary hate. Big respect. Sick of crap out there. I love watching your video. Hey, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate you saying that. I like sincerely. Um, you know, I, uh, yeah. I, I got pretty thick skin, but, uh, you know, sometimes it's hard to not uh, get down and uh, stuff like that goes a long way. So thank you very much. Um, okay. Let's keep this video fresh. I mean, I made five mirrors of profit yesterday and I did it while streaming everything that I was doing. Right? So like that's 300, that would be 300 US dollars if I were to sell it. And obviously I didn't, I used it craft. But I mean, especially if you live in a country where the dollar is pretty weak, 300 US dollars in a day is, is I think, more than some people make in a month. Skyline. Skyline. I wanna reach that 
Only nine minutes. Uh, note, not by offering mirror service. I did it in the same way anyone else could. Uh, I double corrupted Omnis. I've rolled. I used beast crafting on Watcher's Eyes. Uh, I flipped a couple of uh, um, high-end uh, gems. Uh, double corrupted some gems. And I actually specifically didn't include mirror service. For anyone that was here watching, I did make more money off mirror services. But I specifically left that out of the data because I didn't think it was replicable. Uh, but here you can see what the total value was. Let me get bigger. Total profit on one stream, 1,959 divines, 4.77 mirrors. Sir Gog is trying to cancel me? Why? Everyone loves it when they do it on SNL. Let's make that 310. Hey, thanks a lot, brother. Oh, I have D&D on. Uh, really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Um... <laughs> So I wasn't saying that to brag, brother. I was just saying that, like, regardless, I'm not sure where you live in the world, but I'm saying if I can make that much currency while streaming it in one day, right? Imagine somebody who's doing things off of stream that, uh, you know, is motivated by financial gains, right? Even if they only made that much, I'm, I'm sure they make a lot more than that. 300 US dollars is a lot of money uh, in a lot of places. Um... I just I think it's easy like especially when you're in a western country to discount the uh, uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to defend uh, you know Janubu or TFT or anything I just think that um, it's pretty uh, uh, you know dismissing the, the the financial reward for for everyone in the world on the basis of the living conditions that we have individually I think is a little uh, ignorant Sir Gog impression I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start putting my Sir Gog impressions behind paywalls. You know how people have like text to speech. I'll be like, I can understand the motivation. Yeah, I said that in my first video. Um, I I know I know that uh, I know that my personality doesn't click with everyone, uh, uh, and that's okay. I'm comfortable with that. I, I I I've always said that I'd rather be disliked for who I am than liked for who I'm not. Um, the good and the bad that comes with that, uh, and like I'm, I'm cool, right? Like that, that, that's straight with me. But it's also like outside of the video game, like somebody who's selling mirrors to so they can feed like their kid in, in a country that doesn't have infrastructural or economic opp opportunities for upward mobility. I can't sit here as a human being and say, like, no, nah, fuck you for doing that, man. You're a bad person. Like. I don't know what their conditions are. I, I'm pretty sure uh, Janubu is not doing this to support a family because he's never offline. I, 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 I feel like his are greed motivated, but that doesn't mean that everyone who does it is. And so I'm not trying to condemn anyone on an ethical level. Um, my, uh, you know, obviously my, uh, uh, my protest is within the constraints of the game.
in four weeks. Yeah, three and a half weeks. <laughs> Some background music. Don't you tell me what you like and dislike. I will specifically change it to worsen your experience. If you want information on crafting, you need to fucking, you need to struggle for it. All right? You got to appreciate the friction. Chris Wilson, may he rest in peace. Would, 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 would deem it only appropriate. Oops. Uh, thank you. Yeah, no problem though, dude. <laughs> the uh, the hideout music was getting crazy. Yeah, no. Uh, you know what's kind of crazy though? Look, uh, people are entitled to their opinions. I don't think that there's a single. Am I poor? Yeah, I'm poor. Sorry, dude. Um, I don't think there's a single person that knows me in the game that has any relationship with me in the game or outside of the world that would ever tell you they have felt personally uh victimized by me right uh all of these 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 isms that they label me with or the the my mental state or the threats if you find one person who has ever felt personally attacked i, I will take back everything i've ever said all it is is always it's me speaking of making jokes about hypothetical scenarios that screenshot it and take it out of context but what I what I know for a fact is that the people that like I actually interact with don't feel that way, and that's far more meaningful to me. It's obviously frustrating, and it's hard to read hundreds and hundreds of comments of people, um, you know, disparaging you, especially because I made the mistake of streaming with my government name. So there are real world ramifications to this. Like if if an employer looks up uh, my name and they see a thread about how I'm a psychopath that deserves to be in prison, uh, that actually affects me but I'm not allowed to speak on Reddit. You know, I was I was barred from doing so. I can't even defend myself. So um, I just kind of avoid it now because, you know, people are gonna, people are gonna think what they think, but I don't think there's many people who, who hold that view that know me that well. I play quick maths about my math skills. Yeah, but Jinx, I'm pretty sure you're Asian. So I'm pretty sure you, like you were fucking, I'm pretty sure you were sitting there like dopamine hit. He knows I'm good at math. What up, baby? That, by the way, is a compliment to Asians, not an insult. I respect your mathematical prowess. And it is, that is also a factual, that is a factual measurable metric with respect to mathematical uh, aptitude. So there's no, there's no subtext there. Um, what was I going to show you here? I deserve to be in prison? Shit. I think it's a sad state. It's a sad state of affairs when people can't accept that other people experience the world differently than they do. Um, and regardless if, even if through dialogue, they can't find a, a neutral ground. It's like, I, I don't wish ill upon anyone, like even if they don't agree with me, it's why I never block or ban anyone, right? I let people talk shit about me whenever they want in my channels. I don't ban them for it. Cause I think a lot of the time when people are venting, it's like, especially on the internet, it's important that they have a place to do that. And any person or any situation that can't uphold criticism probably doesn't have much merit to it to begin with. I don't mind allowing people to sit there and tell me how awful they think they am. Because, you know, when I'm streaming Path of Exile and when I'm talking about crafting, I know my actions speak for themselves. So people can sit there and call me a peasant or, you know, make fun of the fact they don't have any raw mirrors there. But, you know, I don't need to sit there and address those individually because I think... You know, to those that matter, uh, they don't care, and to those that care, they don't matter. Uh, but look at this though: the Reddit mod said they banned me for attacking people. My name. This is this is my name, Belton, on Reddit Path of Exile. In the past two weeks, there have been 1,208 comments about me made on the Reddit Path of Exile. I would say at least 70% of these are ones that are insulting me. And they, not a single one of them has been removed. Not one. So, to, to me, that says all I need to, like, that says everything you need to know about uh, the balance of power and application of, um, you know, moderation ability or whatever. 
not that everyone else has to come to the same conclusion but when i saw that i was like like you know the, not not only is it an upward hit, uphill battle it's a pointless battle they obviously came to their conclusions a while ago Did Sir Gog actually try to get me banned though? I'd be interested in seeing that. Just while this video is, I'm waiting for this video to upload here. You know what's funny too? A Reddit mod, I don't know if I discussed this on stream, a Reddit mod reached out to me because he was getting upset that people were saying mean things about him and he blamed me for it. And I actually gave him this like long reply about how I would I would um, like issue a public apology and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I was like, look, I'm permanent banned. Um, I was like, if you're, you and your associates are will, unwilling to do this, there's no discussion to be had as any pretense of equitable treatment and basic fairness fly out the window. Uh, if your request meets mine with refusal, my request being an ability to actually <laughs> to apologize. And then I came to find out after what he was saying here, he wasn't getting upset about, first of all, nothing I said was a lie. Because uh, all I said was that he used to be a TFT mod. And then I go and find out in the comments, he never actually even watched the video. He like he said this himself. I never watched the video. He was basing what I said off of um, off of comments on the Reddit thread, and uh, and then he, he and then he left a series of comments saying that I was doing it just to get attention because I wanted money for my website. And I was like, wait, the guy who's getting mad at me for disparaging him, which I never did, and he's getting mad at me because other people on Reddit are saying bad things about him. But I'm not even allowed to speak on Reddit, and you're a moderator of Reddit. Not only that. But you didn't even watch my video, and now you're also insulting me. And he never even replied to me. <laughs> Look, I wrote him this wrong, long, nice message, and I was like, uh, I was like, "Look, I was like, you want sympathy from me? Well, guess what? You have it because I know what that feels like being misrepresented. At least you're still allowed to defend yourself. I am not. I, I will publicly give. I, I was like, I will amend this publicly given the platform. The guy just ignores me, and then they start a fucking Reddit thread about me asking for a community referendum." <laughs> like, how disingenuous is that? I to me that's like a bad, bad faith, bad actor, holy. Lane Maxwell was it? All right, boys, I, I want to have a cigarette before I get back to crafting. Do you guys, for the uh, algorithm, if you boys don't mind uh, throwing that in that boat and maybe like a stupid little comment, I'd appreciate that. Uh, we'll have a smoke here. I'll link, I'll link the video to you guys.
you know my mind is made up and I wanna go and I've been thinking about what to do been thinking about me about me and you for a long time I try to find reason to stay here in this cage of mine but I, I don't need no borderline I, I don't need that from my mind let me tell you I don't need nobody nobody but me Someone tagged me. How can I tell where I'm tagged? What am I looking at? Here's, here's the actual physical evidence of them RMTing on a third party site. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, community. Someone should post this on the. I'm gonna post this on my channel. Someone should post this on the, the dis, or on Reddit.
Very deep. Did you guys see this? Uh, it's 360p because it's still processing. It'll update. Look at this, guys. Actual evidence of TFT RMTing. Like actual hard evidence. Alright. Best Panda and Z. Rage Dice. Awaken Trusted Partners. Janubu. New Sanctum Softcore. TFT. This is Janubu promoting him as a mirror shot partner. This is him on D2JSP. Want to buy Divine Orb 60 form gold. Mirrors at 15,000 each. Need loads only in bulks of 100 plus. My character is level 100 and I'm not trading with low level characters. Best Panda and Z. Reliable has a trusted role in TFT. Mirror shot partners. That's actual hard evidence of them fucking third party trading. Uh, and RMT. Like hard evidence. I posted that on my community channel. I can't post that on Reddit, but somebody should definitely post that on Reddit. You can link it to my channel if you want, if you don't want to have to explain it. Like you can link it to that community post, but like that's actual like hard evidence. So that's crazy. First hard evidence, yeah. Like I know a lot of it is, yeah. Like that, like I'm, I'm not, I'm not being delusional here, right? Like that's actual. Like how, how could someone spin that? Literally. How stupid could you be to not even change your name? Rage dice, best panda NZ. Best panda NZ, three star trusted member. Forum gold, two hundred and fifty thousand. Only buying in bulk 100 plus. Trading form gold premieres. Smoking gun. PFT lead partner shop. Highly trusted role, Janubu promoting. Now you have Janubu, trusted role, mirror shop partner, RMT. All the pieces you need, all the names. See if Gazi or someone's streaming. Yeah, he is. It's Gazi. Gazi came by my stream to ask me about it. And he was the only other streamer that like talked about it openly. Minions. When I said it was gonna be a Sumancer, I meant it's gonna be a Sumancer. 
I don't say these things lightly, sir. If I tell you I'm gonna give you a Sumancer build, I will fucking give you a Sumancer build. Okay. Thirty-seven. Yo, yes, it's Belton. You probably buy my uh, YouTube stream to ask if you ever had a situation before. So I talked about a couple of times on streams. Thought you'd be interested in this. Can't post it anywhere about it because I'm banned. All right, evidence and TFT mirror shop, farm team, and DTG ASP. Post on community, my YouTube is three screenshots. Irrefutable. Drama live now. I want to stay away from it. I'm curious though, but the, the information provided, so I'll check it out after the stream. I just want to stay away from the whole shit, personally. <laughs> I've watched him talk about it on stream for like at least 45 minutes, so I know he's interested in it. Regardless, I'm curious actually what his chat says. I think Gazi's a straight up guy, though. I don't think I've like I have no no information to ever implicate him in that. I think he probably just doesn't want to. Shift focus of his stream, that's all. For my mental health. I stream six days a week. My schedule is posted in Discord and on Twitter. Oh. Bat Brass Dome would be enough to start the build, maybe medium budget. I don't know. We haven't made a medium budget PUB yet. So I don't know. If you're going to cause our end game, says Bigger Shade, you should be fantastic. Well, there's the only ones. I haven't really got anywhere. Oh, no, dude. 40 hours a day, more than that. You're watching Gazi? <laughs> um, Gazi uh, came by stream and was. Uh, guys, he came by stream and came to talk to me about the TFT thing as well. He's talked about it on his stream quite a few times. Uh, so I was just letting him know that there was screenshot evidence now of them RMTing that I posted on my channel. So instead of speculating about it, he can just look at this. Um, and it's just three screenshots, not an hour long video. The, um, uh, what's his face? Um, there is, again, accusations of arm from, uh, 
when it comes to people within PvP. Um, and if you'd like to know more about it, there's so You wanted to end this chat. Let me get back to his stream. I'll look later. I watched him talk about it for like 40 because Freck, his crafter and I are good buddies. So Freck told me he tried to get him to watch the video. It's pretty easy to see what's being highlighted. I, I don't want to like raid his stream or anything. I just, I've seen him talk about it on stream for like 45 minutes. So it's a pretty easy fix to just go and look at a photo that very clearly. Anyways, that's vindicating for everyone who didn't believe me. Did anyone post this yet? Because the community needs to see this. Uh, it's it's not about people RMTing. It's the fact that TFT presents itself as a community tool, and TFT controls the supply of all bulk crafting materials. So when TFT controls has an integrated vertical supply chain that controls the way that these things get crafted, it, it affects all aspects of the game. It looks by the, the, the it looks like, because if you look here, he's a three-star member with 542 posts. Imagine how many times he's actually RMT. 542 posts with 250,000 gold. The account's three years old. Three, two, sorry, two and a half, two years old. The post is edited January 3rd, 2023. This is this league. Why can't I watch the broadcast? Uh, yeah, we didn't realize this. We just figured this out. Uh, I, I do have it still. I could show you. Um, so on, on, on Twitch, it automatically will save VODs. Um, I wanted to keep my stream running, so it was always on record, right? Uh, I didn't realize this, having just recently switched to YouTube. Uh, but YouTube does will not save um, recordings over 12 hours. So you can see here, uh, 30 hours, 52 hours. This is the one where I crafted the ring. When I, when I try to click it, uh, because it's over 12 hours long, um, it doesn't allow you. January 3rd is the day he finished the bow. I'll comment that. What's the boat called? Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I I don't know what did that. Verify what chat says first. Um, 
Urshtuk, the guy that said that in chat, is the guy who sold him the bow. So I don't really need to verify it with him because he's the guy who RMT'd it to him. <laughs> uh, I can trust him on that one. <laughs> yeah, he is? Okay. Here it is, sir. So, so I, I, I said, said well, well, is he is supposed, supposed to be on his knees begging, begging and asking for forgiveness or what, what, what are you talking talk about? about? And, and then, then he, he said, the guy said, said something in line stuff that he wasn't looking for a for an apology. He was just he was just saying that the the appeal was of mediocre quality and he wasn't remorseful of what he did a year ago. Um, so I wrote. Hello, I have the conversation. I wrote. <laughs> it's 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 a fucking comedy show. Trust me. Let me see if I can find it. Dancing in the dark. Let's see if I can find it. I said, what I find odd in this case, taking a side that is one year ago, is that me vouching for him seems to mean jack shit, even though I've been offered multiple times to be an official partner with TFT, upon which I've told you, neighbor, that I'd rather continue to promote TFT with no strings attached to the service you guys provide. And the way this is handled is something taken out of a comedy at this point with all context included. I understand that Freck is angry, which he, he, was, he was not very polite there towards the end. And he, I said, I do agree that he's not very respectful right now, but also don't blame him after seeing this conversation, how it's transpired. <laughs> oh, man. And I also asked him if this was exclusively based on the price fixing situation from one year ago. Nothing between then and now, I'm assuming, because that's the time where he was part of my team, right? Because I said, because if that's the case... And they're just talking about Freck. Greetings, Survivor. Rex, my homie. Do I have the live stream stamped on PC? No, I don't have the space for it. Uh, I thought they were saving on YouTube. That's why I didn't. So going forward, I will make sure that they're all under 12 hours. That's why I ended my previous one. But uh, unfortunately, that one's going to be gone. Is this guy coming? Dude, this guy's fucking retarded.
It's, it's, yeah, that's all good. I say retarded lovingly. If that was you. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm sorry, sir. I'd like a worse version of this, please. Okay. Owner of that Discord, are you referring to TFT? I think I might be a little bit. Uh... I, th I think I might be the exception to people that Janubu dislikes. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's ever sent out multiple news alerts or YouTube videos or put out smear campaigns or had infiltrated the guild of. Uh, or had people permanently screenshotting or manipulated the market surrounding what they're crafting of anyone else. Maybe he has, but I think I might hold a unique spot in his heart in terms of uh, people he dislikes. Mods, am I trying to hit? I already have two of them. Uh, for the third one, I want to just get a, a tier one of. There's like 20 different mods I would stop on. Um, just trying to get a good one. I'm not going to go over the whole list, but I'll let you know if we pass by any. What's important, like functionally, what's important is the. We already have the quality and the plus one level. Hey, power charger.
Oh, oh shit, it removed quality. Fuck. Oh, you heard everything? Okay, cool. That's too bad. He won lightning damage to spells like that is fucking sick. This is complete. No! You and nearby allies deal damage, that's also fucking sick. There. Ran out of rare beasts. Anyone?
the clip you hit the ring on for i did i thought i did at least um but youtube doesn't save um you see uh youtube doesn't save uh, vods that are longer than 12 hours so i know that for now going forward but uh here's the vod of it Okay, okay, okay. Picking up global channels. This would be so vindicating. Because there's been a there's been a fucking referendum basically on me for the past like three days posted on the Reddit for this to come out and finally get fucking vindicated in what I've been saying the whole time. Just Yeah, that'd be great. That was Global One. Global One's never busy. Um, does anyone have any rare beasts I can buy off them? Is Jix no longer a TFT mod? No, he was the one that exposed them for stealing people's, like, you know, during the whole Recombinator thing? He was the one that told people that they were mirror copying and then using them to create new items for Recombinator, so they kicked them out. Varga posted about him. Uh, no, I, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna pay Divine for, uh, I was paying 120 Chaos, uh, for 60 of them. I've done like 10,000 of them, so I'll pay, I'll pay a Divine maybe for two inventories, but uh, I'm not gonna pay, I'm not paying a Divine for Beast. It's a little crazy. I've, I've quite literally used tens of thousands of Beasts. Um... And uh, never paid more than 120c in inventory. What's going on, HG? Da, 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 da. You think I'm I'm Janubu? <laughs> I have much better grammar than Janubu. The guy fucking sends out blast to three hundred and fifty thousand people using Google Translate.
Sorry. What was that? It's funny because when all of this started, I, 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 all I kept saying was most empires crumble from within. So I gotta ask, what's up, Tiki? I can't click that quickly, bro. Are you guys just talking to each other? Yeah, if, if you guys have a question for me, do at Belton, okay? Like the in chat. Otherwise, I'll just leave you guys to yourself. I don't care if this gets removed right away. Some people will see it. Leave me the fuck alone. I don't want this shit. Go away. Dude, I fucking hate... What the fuck? Leave me the fuck alone, Reddit.
already permit based, so it doesn't really matter if I ban evade. For fuck's sakes. God damn it, moderator approval. Fuck this. There's no way that's going to make it up, even though it's exactly what they say they want. Okay. I gotta get Twitch back? I can't. I appealed it already, months ago. They haven't even opened the appeal. Look, as I said, in, in direct contradiction to TFT saying I was banned for fucking... What do, they, what do they say? Homophobia? Like, five months ago, I was banned because of them spamming porn while I was eating Christmas dinner. That very same night, I appealed, and they haven't even opened it. Otherwise, it would be processed, not pending. So two months, two, in two days, it'll be two months since I appealed, and they haven't even opened it. But yeah, I, I like YouTube better, though. Which is run by a bunch of fucking pinko pussies. I can't. Do you, were you not listening or watching that entire thing? It gets auto moderated because it has the word TFT. It doesn't matter. They, they, it's not good. They know it's for me. It's not going to get approved. I don't, I don't know how familiar you are with the situation. There's not one, not one, one modicum, one iota of chance that that is going to get approved. Uh, there's also no context needed. I, I appreciate the, the the good faith, like the goodwill of your suggestions, but you're clearly not up to date on the situation. So, uh, it's uh, it's unnecessary to to chime in on that. Uh, rip. Look at that. It re-rolled the fucking... Look, we got it again. Boy, it... I've read your last like 10 comments and I don't know who you're talking to or what you're talking about. Are you talking to me or are you having a conversation with someone in chat? Cuz I I literally zero on zero idea what you were talking about for like at least your last 10 comments or who you're talking to. If it's not to me that, that like that obviously that's completely fine. I just completely lost at every single thing you're saying. Gets a friendly on my part. Is there gonna be a leveling stream? Yeah, I stream all of my gameplay. If a question ever ha ever is, is there gonna be a stream for? The answer is yes. 
Everything I do will be streamed. Watch the new bit.
It's only rare beast if anyone in chat has any they can sell. Wait, they allow my red post? They actually allow my Reddit post? That's not mine. You didn't put the fucking all three of them, you fell. It's three photos, you put two. You had one job. It's definitely three photos though. You missed a photo. One, two, three. Yes, you missed an important photo that shows he's a league shop partner. One, two, three. This is very important. It shows that he's his role on TFT. Here, I'll give you the link to what I posted. You can link that in the comments. Because this has all the photos. This is nine photos.
Look, you fucking... Ah! Can't believe you fucked this up. Look, people are saying, isn't this proof that someone who uses the mirror shop RMTs? I can't believe you forgot that photo. <laughs> Highly trusted role, TFT shop partners. Mm. Is there any way to edit it? Oh my god, I hope that omission doesn't fucking fuck over the whole point of it. People are so pedantic. I just didn't get the link that I made. Uh, the one that I have has the fact, like the, the one that I, I gave the link for, highly trusted role in TFT, mirror shop partner, RMTing, Janubu sending out his name, the fact that he crafted the fucking bow the next day, and then all of the links. I love you to death, Generox, but I swear to God, I'm gonna lose it if this omission of the full fucking post doesn't it's not about just about TFT, it's like this vindicates me. <laughs> like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times people have made, like called me a liar, fucking a cheat, someone who's a get, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, uh, I'm not explaining myself boy yet. I, I honestly don't even, I, I can't tell if there's a language barrier or something. I, I can't understand half of what you're saying, but. Uh, I'm not explaining the entire situation for which has been going on for a week and there are numerous videos and posts of it. Yeah, ask somebody else in chat. Fuck, it happened again! You want lightning damage to spells, but remove fucking... Whatever you post, make sure it's this. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the one you linked, but it's the full information. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. You don't have to redo the post, as long as it's there. I don't want I don't want the post to be taken down for brigading, so, so can somebody else link it in Discord?
Getting hair removed. <laughs> planets are just a YouTube planets today. Funny thing is too, even if everyone accepts TFT's law, I can guarantee you not one person that has sat there and wrote hundreds, like there have literally been hundreds of disparaging comments about me over the past week. I can guarantee you not one person will be like, maybe you'll build an apology. Okay, it's on the front page of Reddit now anyway. Comment it later or whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not so concerned. I don't, I don't care about getting the traffic. I would just like to be vindicated in the eyes of the community that spat on me when I tried to tell them information that was helpful to them. I can't do anything till I get rare beasts. I know that's not your guys' responsibility, but Your name is Ball Street. Hey, give me a second, because uh, I want to have a cigarette anyway. I'll maybe I'll have the smoke first.
Oh, never mind. I have an entire video series on it as well as it's very well cataloged. There's a referendum on it in fucking TFT or on Reddit, so I'm not going through the whole thing. You already asked me this, I already answered it. Or is it somebody else? Is your name very similar to someone else's? Because I, I swear to God, I already answered that exact question for you about the ring crap. The ring craft took me an hour, by the way. Like from start to finish, one hour. Very easy. Uh, yeah, I never, yeah, I'm removing that comment. Uh, I never ever, I never RMT'd with TFT. If you don't speak English, don't answer questions that, <laughs> I, I, I revealed I made a video talking about how TFT at the high levels is being used as a front basically to RMT currency and how they control and manipulate the economy with it. And then TFT doing this then started out on a campaign against me, which has led to hundreds and hundreds of people saying bad things about me as well as being banned from Reddit and a few, a few other things. And people thought I was lying and the photo evidence just came out. But yeah, when someone asks the question, what's going on with PFT and Belton, when you just reply RMT, that makes it seem like I'm RMT. So if you're not going to answer a question in full, don't answer it. That's absolutely not the case. Yeah, Jitter got me. I'm like I'm like an activist investor, right? What's his name? Uh, I'm Bill Ackman. I'm Bill Ackman, with a short on Herbalife. TFT is my Herbalife. I'm Bill Ackman.
Let us see this go out. Bedtime now. Have a good stream. Hey, thanks a lot, brother. Appreciate that. Mel's a fucking cuck. Bet you Nell has to use Viagra to masturbate. Oh shit. Point, thank you. Well actually no, because I'll just I'll just the second I see it'll tell me. I'll just watch. I'll, I'll pick I'll play close attention, make sure I don't do one. Yeah, I'm crafting a discharge weapon. What's that, 17 divided by 2.3?
Just wait till people start commenting on how it's my fault. Or how bad of a guy I am. Because that always happens. What the fuck? Look at that. It just re-rolled quality of socketed gems from 6% to 5%. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> and of course we get Frenzy Charge on Kill the next time, and that one remember Fucking hell. Stupid fucking beasts. <laughs> I find this funny that the first post. Here, let me link this to you. The previous three posts about this topic, my name was mentioned 1,028 times, generally in bad sense. And now that people are finally agreeing with me, and like the whole thing I've been saying the, the entire time, not one mention. Yeah, here. Oh, actually, I can just link it in chat. Look at this. This is how many times my name was see Belton on Path Reddit Path of Exile. 1208 comments in the past what little bit have had my name in them. And it's generally people saying like fuck Belton, he's a liar, a cheat, scumbag, scandal, whatever. The one post where people are finally agreeing with what I've said the whole time. <laughs> fuck TFT. What am I looking at here? What what am I looking at? Uh, am I retarded? I don't oh Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, that's 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 no new information. Uh, but I'll I'll link it anyway. Mm, send me the actual uh, screenshots. Uh, send me actual links so I can put it together in a single imager. Uh, but a mirror shop partner just like again, if their defense, which uh, the only defense they could really say to this is that he's just affiliated and we didn't know he was doing this. Uh, that does not need to show them narrative though.
I like how the people that are like on the other side of this now are just they're defend they're not defending GFT, they're defending RMT. <laughs> It would be kind of, not kind of cool, but if my legacy in PoE as a player were that I took down the fucking RMT Mafia, I'd be pretty happy with that. I can live with that. Yeah, head out. See you, bud. Look at that, lightning damage per attacks. Don't get distracted. Forgot to imprint this and then their imprint state returned. The imprint state was fire, flat fire damage. And then, small turn of luck, we got the spell damage, exact spell damage roll back again. If they don't work, for the 50th fucking time. There's some problem with Streamlabs and YouTube where they don't, I don't know why they don't sync. Cloudbot doesn't let you do it. I don't know. But I, I like literally spent 20, 30 minutes trying to do it. Followed the instructions exactly. Turned it on, installed everything. Does not work. Here, I can do this though.
that visible? Look at that, I rolled spell damage again. This is so strange how many times I've rolled the exact same mod. What you mean, damn? Okay, thanks. Uh, triggered spells deal spell damage. That's objectively worse than the spell damage mod. It just looks cool, though. Fucking terrible. I'm gonna kill myself as soon as I'd rather listen to fucking Varga read a page of Harry Potter than listen to that. Alright, um. Music to kill yourself, too. Is this a playlist? Perfect. Terrible. It's a powerful modifier, hell yeah, dude. Boy, you're all over the place, man. <laughs> it did it again. Oh no, it didn't. It's Chaos Gems. Look at that. It changed from quality of socketed gems to socketed Chaos Gems. Interesting. I must didn't catch that.
You can see the gear there. Hey, Generox, I'm going to make you a mod, okay? I'll make you a managing moderator because maybe then you can put commands in and shit. I don't know what managing moderator means, but congrats to you. Hey, Quiddy, are you still here? No, it's just, I just want to mod people that like I trust. Quiddy, I trust you. I'm just gonna make you a mod. Just like, uh, not not to actually moderate people, but like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing on the internet. Um, uh, and just people that I know that are, whatever. If there's like shit that I don't know what moderators can do and can't do, but, um, yeah. Damage per frenzy charge, though. Um, let's see. We're going to have three standard power frenzy charges. Potentially this one. Definitely this one. Four. Five, six. Seven. Twenty-eight. This is better than spell damage. Yeah, boy, boy, watching watching your your messages in in chat is the exact same feeling I get talking to someone from like customer support on like when you talk to like your internet provider and they're like, "No, sir, my name is Jonathan Smith from Indiana. <laughs> I'd like to I'd like to cancel my plan." Okay, sir. Yes. Okay, sir. Yes, we can. Um, we can definitely upgrade your service. No, I want to cancel it. Okay, sir. <laughs> Destroy TV. Oh, yes, it's very nice outside. <laughs> You're an RMT player? Hope you burn an oven. No, I'm just joking. I don't care. Again, like I, I do care because I like I want I want to 
protect the sanctity of the game. Uh, and I don't want the whole game to devolve into that. But being realistic, I understand it's going to take, it's going to happen on an individual level. The problem is TFT presenting itself as a community tool and doing it. That's where the real issue is. Still not one person after 113 comments being like, damn, Elton was right. <laughs> Fuckers. Oh, I guess people didn't like my ring video. Oh well. Um, okay. Damage again. On on the top end, we'd be getting maybe twenty eight percent on that. Look at that quality with gems again. I think we can do better than that. Look at that, it hit quality, motherfucker. Holy shit, I'm out of vultures. Oh my god, the two mirrors of vultures on this fucking thing.
<laughs> well, with, yeah, it's uh, it's written on the exact screen. It's like literally written on the screen. Oh, okay, I'm having a cigarette. BRB. Did someone covering it up? No problem, dude. Oh, phone died. Shit. Imagine how much PV I get if I smoke. Yeah, but then I have to interact with chat more. And there's a direct correlation between chat interaction and desire to kill oneself. So for my long-term divine necessities, I can make more divines alive than dead. And so that by having a smoke, you know that meme photo of Ben Affleck where he's like outside like sighing? I need that at least like once an hour. Commiserate with the amount of times I'm asked, will it actually sell though? <laughs> I'm just joking, by the way, for anyone that isn't familiar with my sense of humor. I don't, I don't sincerely despise chat. Um, although some of you do ask stupid questions. I just gotta wait for my phone to turn on, actually.
That's right. I still haven't gone outside yet. Oh, what's this? All right, uh, I still have to go out and smoke. I just had to wait for my phone to turn back on. When is he coming back? I, I was gone for like three minutes. However long it takes for an iPhone to turn on is how long I've gone for. Dude, there's been like a foot since I was outside last. There's been like a foot of snow, it's literally above my ankle. Yeah, Boyette doesn't speak for me, by the way. Uh, I, I'm not, I don't even know who that is. Uh, that's not what I do for currency, but I can explain it some time. <laughs> do not, do not, Boyette does not speak for me. Any advice he gives you is his own. Okay, going outside now. Fuck sakes, what's this?
Último domingo na priva, da primavera antecipou hoje o que vai ser o verão no Rio. Todas as praias estavam cheias, principalmente as que vão estar na onda nos próximos meses. Deixa Veja. eu decidir se é cedo ou tarde, espera eu considerar. Tanto mundo afim de novidade, fila em banco de bar. Bem ao lado da barraca de comidas naturais do campeão mundial do voo livre PT. com ritmo, né? a ponto daquilo se tornar o, como o mar, uma tempestade no mar. Entendeu? Então você não, tem, você não tem mais ritmo, você tem uma, um ruído contínuo.
qualquer lugar em que eu vá encontrar-te com o desejo a flor da pele por fim destacaria o teu agir e o modo de sentir como sendo vital pra mim não é possível descrever como me encanta mas que o outono faz com os vales de abril tu tens a natureza aos pés por isso é que tu és estrela mesmo em céu de anil a paixão nos olhos mas só no amor que vai longe seja eu de mais ninguém não é porque queres que é só ser o meu pensamento sei que tenho também o espetáculo em teu olhar sedução a boca é fácil em me beijar e dizer não faço nada sem te ouvir e há muito desse Você tá tão linda E eu não vou esquecer Essa imagem tão bonita O privilégio é de te ver Eu não quero forçar nada, não Deixa tudo acontecer naturalmente Como uma droga que vicia a nicotina Não sai da minha mente Chega em casa logo Que eu tô querendo te ver Mesmo com toda a incerteza Deixar acontecer 
deixe acontecer naturalmente Eu não quero ver você chorar Deixa que o amor encontre a gente Nosso caso vai eternizar Deixe acontecer naturalmente Holy cow. Ela que parecia a chica de que foi. I had I had to ban links because um there were a bunch of like uh, sex website bots that kept coming in, and they would uh, keep linking things to like eighteen plus. Check out hot fucking video x x x x like every fifteen minutes. those links. I don't know what you're talking about.
the chart. I haven't, I haven't looked. Ooh, perfect crit chance. Come on. Fuck. Hey, let's go. 
one crit chance with increased effect. Yeah, I need some liquidity here. Dessa solidão Espalho coisas Sobre um chão de giz A menos leva nem os tolos A me torturar Fotografias recortadas Em jornais de folhas A miúde Guardar no Félix Eu vou te jogar Num pano de guardar no Félix Disparo balas de canhão É inútil, pois existe um grão de pista Violetas velhas Sem o corre Queria usar Quem sabe Uma camisa de força Vou de Vênus Mas não vou gozar De nós Apenas um cigarro Gastando assim o meu batom Yeah, I guess I might as well level the new character while I wait for some shit to sell.
Diga por que o sexo é assunto popular No mais, estou indo embora No mais, estou indo embora No mais, estou indo embora Music's loud, good, thanks. 
I'm actually getting kind of annoyed by the music. Time to play it spying. I was just thinking about sources of power charges, and I, I remembered that there's a uh, a sanctum thing, I forgot what they're called, relic or whatever. I've only done two sanctums the entire league.
You stare into the abyss, and the abyss stares back. is bright for those who wait. The future is bright for those who wait. Would God that I was there.
refreshing. The only option. A week deserves it. I've seen your strength. Strong and reasonable. I like your strength. Passing is a crime, and criminals must be punished. We do. You shouldn't even be here. This shouldn't be allowed.
Assassin. Hello. Set out. I have won the battle, exiles. Mm, you could have been so much more, Fang. <laughs> Death is here. We have made your choice. We have tried the syndicate into a corner. again explore every little bit helps i'm sure i'll see you soon
which I wish you to know. Not even a rip. When you meet the life giver, give my regards with a blade. Mother Bear will fight to the death to protect her cub. The sun are nothing but a wild animal. Take care. Time to get your attention.
Hey, my name got brought up. It's funny too, because people don't realize that. <laughs> well, they're like, you just did what Belton did. Not realizing that Generox is just sharing my fucking. Uh, <laughs> just sharing my YouTube about. Because I'm unable to. He's also my mod in here. And in my guild. Doesn't matter though. All these people get the message. Choice indeed. Hey, we got a T4 Ashley lined up.
There we go. I still need uh sorry, one of the reasons like well three reasons. One I need to set up a few four Ashling. Number two, I actually don't have the uh eight percent quality craft yet, so I'm self farming that. Uh and also again I need to start doing a couple of sanctums. As I said, I've only run two of them. Holy Uh, and I need to get, what are these things called again? Relic? Yeah, I need a relic for a uh, district. I'm also just waiting for other shit to sell. I have no liquidity on here now. And her price that that was supposed to be priced at a divine, but at the end of the world. That's uh, right. Another reason too is a uh, uh, divergent determination and uh, divergent tempest shield. I want to level.
better a deal than having to kill you all.
question. The question now, Exile, is whether or not you're fooled. Careful where you step from now on, traitor. Would you like to? And now you see. Come on. Good at this job. So, next time you see me, I'll be. Thank you,
did you eat? Like, absolutely. You're my kind of murderer, exile. My favorite parts when they're heads. A big, tough man like you can be fine in solitary community. Let's run over. You forced us down. There's the one that I want to get. Death holds. Violence is tough. I appreciate it. Finally, fuck. I can do like a hundred runs, don't get it, and then two runs we get a choice. From one run we get a choice.
Fucking trade's been dead today. A glimpse, exile.
Ooh, Gilded Abyss. Okay, Sanctum number two.
another human, tempted by power, some weakness after my own heart. Who built is this? That looks pretty fun. Dirty mapper. Uh, I need to get the hawk too. Sorry, I forgot. I didn't have that. Uh, I'm off to sleep. Hey, cheers, Generox. Thanks for the help, Jimmy. To die like this? I walked in, attacked once, and died. I also didn't spend mirrors. I crafted them. Nor have I ever made any claims towards my aptitude. Bro, somebody brought up, somebody was like, yo, Belton was right, and that, and this is it. Uh, I thought they removed those comments.
Sorry, I know I haven't had chat up for a while. It's just like I, I can't map. I don't know if you've noticed how much more efficient I am. <laughs> chat hidden. I just watched the stream, Joe. I'm going to be honest, I don't know where they are in lightning. There. Yeah, let me bring chat up. Way more efficient? Yeah. <laughs> uh, am I doing challenges? No, I noticed, uh, well, there's a couple reasons. Number one, I, I ran out of raw currency to keep crafting the discharge stuff. I've spent several mirrors today. Divergent Determination is about to hit level 20, as is uh, Divine Tempest Shield. Before I go back to the temple to do the double corruptions, of which there's a couple here. Um, I don't think I have space on my friends list, but that's fine. Uh, I was uh, double corrupting uh, the Squires. I'm a little restricted. I also made this Frenzy Charge Ring today, uh, as well as I made a... So a noble clause, the best base with respect to claws. Um, I was actually trying to roll similar to the discharge weapon I'm working on, which is right here. Uh, and I hit strength stacking mods, so I had to grab a new one. I also made this plus one frenzy, T1 life, and T1 life gain on hit, which is pretty nuts. Was rolling some squires, ran out. Anyways, long story short, the reason I'm in maps, uh, A, I ran out of liquidity. B... Um, I wanted, uh, sorry, B, I have the, uh, the temples that are both, they're Dorianis and Locus, and I didn't have anything to locate, or sorry, to Doriani, so I wanted to get the levels on these. C, uh, the last part of crafting this is multi-modding it and then putting on Haku's 8% quality, along with the plus two gems with Katarina. I didn't actually have the Haku unveil. Um, as well, <clears throat> it's actually technically more efficient to craft this with, uh, Ashling as opposed to, uh, Veil of Chaos, which is what I have been doing, so getting the Ashling was fine as well. Um, and also, one of the ways to get a power charge or discharge is with a relic, but I have not done any sanctums. I, I don't, I'm not, I wasn't doing a wave. Somebody in global said, Does anyone want wave 30 sanctum? That was not my. I don't know if you just tuned in. I was literally replying to a free global message just so I wouldn't have to do it later. I'm not. Uh... I have 20 challenges, I'm not I'm not worried. Pretty sure I've been in the stream the entire time you've been live. <laughs> Impending Doom, yeah, I've never seen. I've played like four skills. Oh, it's a shrine? Okay. Yeah, I was trying to get T4 action. Yeah. I've crafted every one of my items from start to finish. Every single one. Which is, I kind of laugh at the narrative sometimes because I'm reading the Reddit post, which conveniently, despite the fact that it was brought up a thousand times in every other post, the one time people are like, okay, finding, we're finally believing what he says. The one time I'm never ever acknowledged. 
Like, nobody's like, hey, maybe the witch hunt we initiated on Belton was, maybe he was acting in good faith the whole time. But aside from that, there's the whole discussion about mirror crafting and people are saying it's impossible for anyone to do it. It's like, dude, I've done it nine times as an individual. <laughs> uh... Yeah, getting a mention. The guy, the guy was messaging saying minimum charge would have been good on here, and I was saying it's brick the ring. Okay, let's hide this. I guess we just need one gem that's in there for the pricing. The other ones I can keep in a front tab because people keep messaging for them. So, you whack, you twisted, your girl's a hoe. Oh, anomalous TS. Okay, there's a gem to double corrupt. We have an item. Oh shit, who's playing? <laughs> Should we go low this TS helmet? I think it's YOLO. This is a perfect tornado shot helmet. Uh, let's see, how much is this worth? 15, 15, 15 TS. There isn't one. There's definitely some on the offline. 35 divides. A Y to the OLO. Why don't we do this? If this poops, then I'll go level my discharge character. I don't know why I'm not selling anything, though. I have so much for sale. It was flooding in this morning. And I guess it's just because of the time of the night. People are sleeping in Europe and shit. Oops. What the fuck?
shit, I should have done Sanctum first. Fuck. Okay, I can't, I can't do the Tornado Shot helmet right now. I have to finish the Sanctum, because I can't lose my helmet. Shiver, even though it's like two chaos. Fuck, too bad we didn't get that on our, our helmet. That would have been nice. It's like 5 8, 30 a.m. You get fucking casuals. <laughs> Ramp. more. It's my progress. I ran out of vultures after like 190 of them. Uh, it's currently at plus. It, it has everything that I need functionally. Um, it just doesn't. Uh, the third mod right now is 26% spell damage. I think I also have an imprint for 4% increased damage per Frenzy Charge. Oops. Skill player. Very skilled. Much skill such. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who got game? I got game. All skill, bitch. I think these are like eight divines. Yeah, 7.5. Let's get it. See you guys later. Yeah, chill, bro. Um, thanks for coming by. Have a good, uh, have a good night, my man.
Oh, shit. There's a sanctum and then it's cigarette time. The question now, Exile, is whether or not you're fool. Thanks to your hard work. Suspicious syndicates, what's that? Oh, sick. I didn't even realize that was a fucking challenge.
have no idea what the fuck I'm doing in here, by the way. This is my third sanctum I've ever run. Wonder what happened to that? I don't know what the hell that means. That's it, that's all you get. Sweet. Ooh, merchant. Not my fault. Oh well, yeah, it has the syntax of like a a phone scammer. <laughs> you send me PayPal info now, yes? Or police come. IRS come after you. Equal equal level of confusion on my end too. What the flying fuck are you talking about, boy? <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of cool. Truly a gift. We'll meet again, explorer. One step closer. Hey, another merchant. Ooh, divines. Okay. Uh, I guess we have to go for major treasure award. Because I don't really have any, uh, uh, whatever the coins are called right now. I just spent them, most of them. Like, I'll be like, bitch, give me your money. Check your pockets. Tuck your chain. Give me them coins. Oh shit, I just got hit. Worth mentioning, I probably shouldn't have done this. I sold my Awakened GMP, as well as my Awakened uh, Elemental Damage with Attack Skills, the level 6 one. I also sold both uh, my Focal Point, both of them, the um, Forbidden Flame and Flesh. I just noticed a little illiquid for a bit. Oop. So I'm playing at a... Somewhat handicapped version of this. Where do you get relics from, guys? Like, the, the real reason I'm interested in doing these is because you can get a power charge relic. Um, and obviously, there's no other way to do that but then, other than to run these, as far as I understand. Um, does anyone know, like, what what's the best way to get relics? 
did they come from killing the bosses or did they get them did you get them from merchants or how does that work i can't even remember where i got this first one final boss okay What, what do we think here? Are any of these worth getting? The, the room doesn't obviously make sense. Ooh, double coins. Wait, what happens with coins at the end? Additional room. I have all seeing eye. Anything else? Uh, should I get Boon or no? Coins poop at the end? Okay. What does, uh, so there's no, well, so there's no more, um, there's no more merchants, so their coins are useless? Um, uh, sorry, there's a bit of a stream delay, so I'm gonna have to wait till I can see your answers. Um, what, what is an afflicted fountain? What does that do? Oh, I have another floor. Two. Okay. I thought it was only three floors. To help get. Um, so it's better. I might, I might as well go for uh, halls of worship then, right? The treasure reward, because that still has the path to this. You have to kill all of these or no? It's behind the handshake, what the fuck is that?
Fuck. I'm one. Oh man, that sucks. It was the very next one with the divines. I'm gonna have to do a couple more. Okay, wait, you're gonna have to explain the handshake thing to me in a second. Oh, Greater Eldritch. I know Grand is, sorry, Grand is the... It's still not a bad outcome though. Wait, wait, wait till I'm in there. Cause I, I don't actually know what you guys are referring to unless I'm looking at it. Alright, just, yeah, maybe wait till I'm there. Handshake, this one. Okay. Sorry, I thought there was like a room called the Handshake or something. I didn't realize you were referring to the graphic. Okay, where does it say the objective? Oh, defeat all the guards. Okay. Completing challenges. No, I want to get, I need to get a, well, I don't need to, but I want to get a relic with a power charge. Um, and I, I, I've not run, like, any sanctums the entire league. So I was just doing a couple of sanctums while I wait for some stuff to sell. That's a really nice roll. Uh, I will, however, 50% off any mirror fees, and I'll take 20% off any one of these if people, if anyone wants to buy them. I got uh, plus one curse, dex int, strength dex curse, perfect hatred, strength int wrath, bunch of watchers, intimidate on hit. 3T1 mirror level ring. Strength stack and claw on a best base. Perfectly rolled squire. I prefer crafting. Uh, right now it's just a matter of access to liquidity. So if anyone wants to purchase anything, I'll cut a discount so I can keep doing that. I don't care if you flip it or whatever. Otherwise, yeah, we're going to be sanctum farming basically until I get a couple sales. Uh,
I need those. Um, so this is. Mm -hmm. Ooh, sorry. I also have this. I forgot to mention. Double corrupted original sin with strength. Really sick for strength sacking. Got a really sick dagger too. Double damage. Uh, with uh, essence, so T zero attack speed, T one crit multi, T one crit chance with spells, T one spell mana regen, plus one chaos skill gems. Be easy to reroll the suffixes. The prefix is there. This is uh, frostbite on hit and flammability on hit. Uh, we got arcade surge with frostbite, deck stacking ring, three implicits. This is the best black sun in the league. I just don't really feel like running lab. Uh, Oriat's end. Uh, I spent like fucking 11 mirrors on this, so I'm not going to sell that. I will sell this, though, if anyone wants it. Chayula with global defenses and attack speed. Uh, you'll have to roll that synth, obviously. But, um, what were you asking about, Spark? Uh, do I have any Spark shit? Probably not. You're kidding. One guy versus 350,000. The truth always wins, boys. Holy fuck, I feel vindicated. Holy shit. Oh. Good thing I didn't propose that. Now I feel not that uh, now I feel retarded. Okay, I need a cigarette. I realized that made me look stupid, but at the same time, that was obviously the date was like when you see TFT shutting down, I'm not looking at the date. <laughs> this is obviously a troll, though. That's unfortunate. Honestly, though, I would feel so good if that happened. You know what? Not even TFT shutting down, but just people being like, you know what? Belton wasn't doing this in bad faith. Maybe was trying to look out for us the whole time. The amount of people that have insulted me over the past week that uh, uh, I've truly been trying to help has been a little disheartening. Okay, I'm going to have a cigarette. Be right back. I believe you this whole time. There's, there's no laws in your voice. Thanks, man. Or, sorry, uh, Natalie. Uh, thanks, woman. I don't know how you say that. <laughs> thanks, my bro ho. Your girlfriend's account? <laughs> Ignore my DMs then. And trust me, it looks bigger in the in the light, you know? I wasn't a good angle. It's not my fault. Janubu watching the stream? Yeah, probably. Google Translate though. Yeah, I'm not stopping for that. Beer be. How many people are on stream right now? Sorry, guys. I know I haven't really been uh, interacting the way I normally do. Mm -hmm. 55 loyal viewers. Crushing it. All right, baby.
Okay, so before I go, I'm just taking a piss. Uh.
Got a snowfall. Uh, somebody commented on my my uh, community post saying that the TFT the recent TFT post was ridiculous. Uh, can, can somebody can somebody link me what the TFT post was that has access to it? It's the opposite. Vultures are like three point, around three point two divines in bulk, and cray chicks are about two point five. Um, if you're re-rolling a third mod, though, because if you have two good mods, right, um, there's only one mod you're targeting, so it takes three vultures and two chimeras on average, because you you need to imprint twice for the two mods that you. Uh, that you hit that are not the one you want to remove. So it's roughly 14 divines to reroll one mod one time. I've spent uh, probably 60 mirrors on rerolls. Obviously, a lot of that, the, like the items I have, are worth over, probably close to 100 mirrors now, maybe more. I mean, this bow alone is worth about 40. 30 or 40. The original. Is it better, guys? Which one's better here? Oh, it's the Feb 30th there? Okay. Um Should I do a curse pack or should I, or a cursed pack or should I do this? A holy layer? Well, I guess I can just save this one. Which one of those is better? Show the bow again. It's the best. It's the best elemental bow in the game. Plus three arrow, sixteen hundred and thirty eDPS, and it can be divined up to seventeen hundred and eighty eDPS on standard with nineteen percent attack speed. With the crafted attack speed, it can go as high as sixteen eighty or sixteen ninety. All right. Okay. I didn't realize you could. Uh, Uh, here, here are all the, here are the mirror items I've crafted. Frenzy power, spell damage, 61 ring, best elemental bow in the game, seven dex, seven int, LA weakness on hit, 61. Uh, 61 quiver with frenzy, cold, plus one arrow, uh, so plus two arrow total, and crit multi. One sec. Uh, best Omni Belt in the entire game. Crit Multi Tier 1, plus 1 Power Charge, Onslaught on Hit Ring. Dex Int, uh, T1 Life, 61 Ring. Strength Dex, Onslaught on Hit. Uh, as well, I've also Mirror Crafted, two bases. T1, T1 Life, T1 uh, Life Gain on Hit, Frenzy Charge. Uh, as well, I did a 7% uh, Strength. Plus one power charge, intimidate on hit.
that it caused all my inspiration pretty much. Fuck. Fuck. I got wrecked by those. Dude, I'm fucking terrible at this game. There's no way I could ever do hitless. What's the currency altar? This is like the third sanctum I've ever done. I've, oh, divine. What the fuck is a currency altar? Now, you can't open the altar unless you take the pack, and I didn't want to take the pack. They, they reduced my resolve and I only had 90 resolve. Like, I would have gone down to 90 resolve if I did. Is that what you're trying to move? Unless I misunderstood how that works. I didn't take in the cursed pack. I have 180 resolve. If I took a pact, I would have had 90 resolve. Not a good idea. By my, by my estimation. my third sanctum of that I've completed two sanctums. He's doing it with my bow, nice. Okay, let's see here. The two merchants.
Losing 30 fucking coins doesn't seem like a big deal. I guess I don't have any more cards. Don't DM me when I'm doing sanctums, please. Are you saying no? Uh, that's cool. The first, the first sanctum I ever did. This is the altar or the relic I got, which is, I think pretty good considering. I actually didn't know. You know how I have left? I don't know what they're called, but the uh, the left shade, the thing that corrupts it with a keystone. I didn't know that was a thing until like three days ago. For like literally 60% of the league. Yes, that's actual quitty. Divide, I don't know. Is Diablo 4 going to be like Diablo 3 or is it more like Diablo 2? I haven't looked into, or, uh, I haven't looked into it at all. No trading? Yeah, I'm out. I'm not playing. I'm not even gonna buy it. No trading.
Hey, divergent termination. All right. Got it finally. This is pretty good.
I mean, my two highest mirror services are worth 350 divines. But... Um, yeah, I guess I could do that. Let's see how many vultures are out there. It's a trust compliment. have two you, I'll, I'll do it for two you can have two copies of anything but the bow or the this ring if you want either one of these it can be one that's what you mean game right now though because i'm buying beast Crazy how expensive these are. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do that with you. Um, but hit me up. Yeah, hit me up now because I'm in the party with the. Uh, Seller. I can't cross league trade with you. But I can offer you mirror service in perpetuity. Whether or not you decide to do that in the league is your decision. You're basically lending me 50 divines in case the agreement that I'll allow you to mirror service one of my items, regardless of which one it is. In for, for free in the future. Well, not for free, but a deferral payment on this. That's fine. If it's in standard, that's, I mean, that's fine too, I guess. On my end, too, yeah, yeah, sorry, I was. I was assuming you would want it to be on another one of these. I actually, I don't really care about standard at all. I don't know. Shut up. <laughs> uh, yeah, if, if, if you want to mirror something for me in standard at some point ever in the future, that's, that's fine. But to be clear, what I'm trading you now is for deferred services on uh okay, i gotta put you on ignore because you're fucking <laughs> you're gonna get yourself in trouble um i'll take you off ignore shortly just shut the fuck up <laughs> uh yeah 50 divines, you can mirror stuff, two of mine in the future, in the league for, for free. Not for free, but it's a deferred payment, basically. And that's fine by me. Oh, sick, free vulture. Thanks, dude. 
Uh, in standard, you can mirror my items for free anytime. I don't care about standard. Ooh, Tiesto. If um, if that is not agreeable to you, I can I can just take it as a loan and pay you back. But it's all good on my end. Did I expect to spend this much? No. Yeah. What you were DMing me about is getting, it, it is like, I want to be clear because this is not what I'm offering. And what you were DMing me about is uh, uh, is against TOS, like cross lead trading. So this is a loan in league or a deferred payment for mirroring an item, which I'm fine with. If you don't end up wanting to mirror an item in the league, I'll just pay you back at the end of the league and you're welcome to mirror any item of mine that I have here or otherwise in standard for free. I don't care about standard. What the hell is all this? Oh, rares. Uh, yeah, I probably spent like t at least two and a half mirrors on the, the sword already. We used 191 vultures earlier. That's at one point. Uh, that's exactly 1.5 mirrors actually. Uh, I spent 140 divines meta modding them. So that's another uh, what's that? Point uh, six. So 1.5. Yeah, that's 2.1. Plus the bases. Yeah, the, the two and a half mirrors I've already spent on the. And the thing is, I'm doing this because I love Discharge in absolutely no uncertain terms. I am 100%. Every every dime, and when I say dime, I, I don't want to convolute that with RMT because people are fucking pedantic sometimes. When I say dime, I mean divine. Uh, I don't want, like, every dime I put into this uh, sword, I'm never going to see it back. Uh, this is not like a an item that this is like a passion project. There's no way it's similar to the chest that I crafted. There's no way I'm ever gonna like maybe one or two people if I fully completed it. Maybe one or two people would ever would ever service it, but it's not gonna be something that's uh, you know a, a revenue generating thing. How many views do I have now? Thank you for the loan though. Appreciate it. Okay. I don't know why these are taking so long to sell. I sold one yes. I, I sold all the regular versions of the Omnis yesterday. I didn't expect this to take so long to sell though. Uh like the pluck one curse, the Dex Int, Strength Dex, Curse, Hatred Aura, like this shit. Like this is right here that's I, I severely lowered my prices on these. And still it's uh six hundred. 
1140, yeah, there's like three mirrors worth of Omnis there almost. Uh, and then another one, eight, uh, I also lowered the price on these, 816, 24, uh, 33, 77, 84, 92, 102, 112, 114, uh, 106, 146, 153, 161, 170, 76, 181, 186, 193. Let's say there's about 250 divines total, 220, 250, 13, yeah. So there's like three and there's like three and a half mirrors right there. Uh this is easily I actually spent more than 2.2 mirrors crafting this, unfortunately, but uh, actually no, we're gonna put it back to 2.5 mirrors. It's more than fair. Uh that's a thousand two point five mirrors. Like when you when you list things in mirrors, it, it always I think seems a little bit overwhelming. Two point five mirrors is like a thousand divines. And consider a thousand divines is three hundred vultures. It's not even including chimeras. You add chimeras to the mix, you're talking probably hundred and eighty, maybe two hundred chimeras. Sorry, vultures and hundred chimeras kind of thing. Yeah, and when you look at it through that lens, it's pretty apparent that uh, even at that price, you're getting a very good deal on something like that. That's why, I, 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 if I can, I try to buy bases when they already have two maws on them. Uh, obviously, by virtue of the exorbitantly high cost of... Um, of uh, Beast right now. As I always say though, you know, the reason I want to make money at this point in the league is so I can keep crafting cool shit. I don't really care about the, uh, uh I don't care about like stacking mirrors or anything. These I have both these listed at 25 divines each. Arcane Surge with Frostbite, Climbability with LA Weakness. Mm, there's 50. Actually, this is kind of cool too. Take this. There's, there's no problem with lo loaning people money or even giving people money when you're quitting the league. No. Okay. Dude, shut up. 
<laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm very, very acutely aware of the terms of service. I've played for 10 years. I would never do anything to breach them. You constantly messaging me about shit like this is not proving your point. It's very, very fine to lend someone money. When you said, I want to do it on standard, this is why I explicitly said. Okay, dude, I got to ignore you, man. Uh, thank you very much for your support, but you just, you don't, you don't know when to stop talking. <laughs> this is why I explicitly said, I will either pay you back by the end of the league, or if you'd like, it could be a deferred payment. I was saying those words very acutely because, again, I actually don't care if anyone mirrors my items on standard. But again, what you were saying is against TOS. Every single time you send me a message, even though you think this is helpful, it's not. You are making it seem like there's some sinister action happening here. I just wanted to buy some beasts. I have thousands of divines worth of things for sale. I don't care if it's a fucking two day loan or 20 minute loan. It's fine. But uh, at this point, I feel like, uh, <laughs> uh, regardless, I just sold you two rings. They're that, so point of sale. Um, if you if you don't decide you don't want those rings, I'll take them back and I'll give you fifty divines. But uh, every single message you are sending me right now is uh, either you are doing it maliciously or you have absolutely no perception for optics. <laughs> uh, but yes, the terms of service are for cross league trading. So cross league trading would be like. Um, if you were like, I want to give you a hundred divines in my league, can you give me a hundred divines on standard? Right? Quid pro quo on a cross league thing, because otherwise people would, you know, people that have, like, for example, I have like a thousand mirrors on standard, right? Uh, pretty straight, I've got, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I just don't think I, I don't think you're malicious, Dimpy. I just think you're a little naive and you don't understand the optics of what your <laughs> optics is not from your side. Optics is the fact that my stream is recording and there's dozens of people, uh, including ones that are bad actors that have, are incentivized to try and make me look bad. Um, <laughs> and what is a very, very common thing? People lend me money all the time. I pay people back. I, I borrowed three mirrors of beasts earlier. Um, it's, I, I do not think you are aware of what the messages you send look like to someone who can clip them out of context. That's why I put you on ignore and just said shut up. There's nothing wrong with lending people money, but sending me messages saying, you know, I'm worried about losing my account. Is this illegal? Blah, 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 blah. Somebody takes a fucking five second clip, puts that on Reddit. Now people think I'm cheating. This is what I say when I'm saying optics. There's 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 nothing wrong with lending people money. I mean, cross league trading is illegal, which is why I explicitly said I'm not doing it for standard stuff. That being said, when the league is done, I don't care about standard, so anyone is welcome to mirror it, not just you. Um, in the league though, whether it's a loan or for the rings I just sold you or for whatever, it's fine. It just has to be contained for the league itself. Um, oh no, I've, I've played POE for like 17,000 hours and I record everything that I do and I stream every minute I play the game for a reason, uh, which is because people generally, when I have the level of wealth that I have had over the years, the first thing people say is RMT, right? Or, you know, they accuse you of being like a, uh, you know, doing something against TOS. So the reason why I stream everything is so I can definitively say, no, I don't, here you go. You can see exactly where it comes from. A lot of the time people lend me money because a lot of the time, like my, my currency strategy largely pertains to reinvesting assets, right? Like uh, the purchasing power of raw currency itself stays relatively static, whereas items have a pretty stable and predictable inflation curve. Um, and so, for example, if you log out on a Friday and you know you're not playing till Monday, if you log out with say 100 divines, right? You log back in, you've got 100 divines. In all likelihood, the purchasing power of those 100 divines is the exact same as it was on Friday, or it's changed very little. And it, 
If anything, it probably has gone down because of natural inflation. The more currency that's generated by people killing mobs through the progression of the league, obviously the relative purchasing power of a divine changes, which is why things like mirrors get more expensive. Now, if you log out on a Friday, um, if you log out on a Friday and you buy items, right? It's pretty easy to know which items do these things. Uh, just generally look at look towards a build like something that is done in later build progression, right? That's pretty much on the basal level all it really is You log back in on the Monday and now you're you sell the items that you had and it's like oh the items that I have are now worth 120 divines. It's like by doing nothing. You just made 20 divines, right? Um, so the reason why I like <clears throat> I constantly reinvest as I said, there's about 1300 divines worth of omnis 200 divines worth of watchers there's several mirrors worth of bases in here. The reason why I constantly reinvest raw currency into items is because they hold their value much better and they actually appreciate in a lot of cases. Because of that, um, in times of low liquidity where I'm either crafting something or if I need to buy a base, I borrow money from people all the time. There's nothing wrong with that. Obviously, it's so long as both parties are um, uh, you know, agreeable to the, to the terms of that and, and understand the, the, you know, the whatever. Um, but, uh, it's also the same reason why when people like come in, you know, people will sell me beast or something like that. And they'll be like, Oh, I'm, I'm not playing the league anymore. Just take it. I always insist on paying them. Uh, because in this game, word is bond. If you fuck someone over, your reputation goes away with it. You don't lose your integrity once. Right. So. Uh, I appreciate the gesture, but uh, just the way you were phrasing things is, again, on an optics level, is uh, something you got to watch out for. And nothing to do with the action itself, but the optics of it. Can I show off your standard stash? I have 3,000 tabs in standard, so no. I'm, I'm not being hyperbolic either. I literally have 3,000 tabs. You can see here, I've got 120 tabs in leagues. And I've played for this amount of leaks. Twenty five leagues probably, so yeah, close to three thousand that's it. My first ten tabs in standard though have like five hundred and fifty to six hundred mirrors in them. Maybe even more. My first tab alone has about two hundred mirrors in it. Uh, but uh, regardless, though, Dimpy, thank you for uh, thank you for helping me speed along with craft here. Okay, thirty vultures, great chick. I if you if you don't want those rings, uh, as soon as I sell one of these more expensive items, I'll just toss you back the fifty. Trade me back the rings. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. It's a level 21 worth 20. Did it for a while? It's okay, my VODs are rewindable. I repeat myself though. Yeah, it's all good, dude. You don't have to apologize. I, I, I never thought you were doing that maliciously. Um, again, I just have to be careful with what people are saying and stuff because of uh, obviously the situation with TFT. They've clearly established a pattern of taking things that out of context and clipping them and screenshotting them and blah, 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 blah. Right? So when you said that, that's, that's why I just took a minute there to clarify to you that. It's not like I'm angry with you. Uh, just explaining why you have to be careful with saying things like that. And there was nothing wrong with the action itself. Just... When you say things like, I have a very old account, I don't want to lose it. It makes it seem like I'm doing something, uh, you know, nefarious. To anyone who just watches and reads that. Uh, okay, the tab is this. 
Fuck, I have too many one to one tabs. Tabs like one divine A, one divine B, etc. Oh, it's a quad tab. Makes it easier. Mm, left 13, top 23. Uh, fuck, where the fuck is this? There it is. <laughs> Diego, you know me too well, man. You know me too well. <laughs> I see someone with someone is familiar with my uh, get fucked up and destroy eighty mirrors of items uh, night. <laughs> that was like fucking five years ago too. It's probably been worth about 200, 300 mirrors now. The bulls devote the altar bulls devotions alone that I mirror or that I evolved that night <laughs> are now worth 60 mirrors. I think they were like five at the time each. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. That was a good comment. A plus. Um, Congrats on getting that ring. Thanks very much, man. It's cool that uh, core memory unlocked kind of thing. Definitely will remember that. I already have far better rings than TFT does in standard. I have the I have the most complete ring collection in the game. The fuck? That fucking retarded. It was an accident, dude. They can't really cancel trade and draw party because I put a gem in there. What a fucking key bag. <laughs> I almost feel like finding out what build that guy's playing and raising the price on it by 30%. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How dare you misclick. Oops. I own 40% of all plus four amulets in the game. I own 100% of plus four charge rings. I get literally every one of them. Probably 95% of three charge rings. Uh, like six or seven perfect 60 ones. Why are none of my items listed? Because I don't give a shit about standard. And a couple of leagues ago, they changed it so that exalts and divine swap. Uh, uh, as well, they made it so guys retelling my beast I didn't sell any beast um, I just sold those are crazy chimeras I sold him like fucking what were they 
Eric somethings. Eric, uh, these are like throw Uh Sorry, yeah, also on standard, um, you used to be able to, like, when, when the leagues would merge, uh, remove only tabs that were premium tabs could still be have items sold out of them. Yeah, sorry to, um, I don't know if the first comment, I don't care about standard. Like, even if someone wanted to mirror my item, I, I don't, like, I wouldn't log over. <laughs> I don't care at all about standard. Four charge rings, yes, I have uh, eight of them. Including one that costs 50 mirrors to make. Uh, which is two power charges, an endurance, and a frenzy. I, I literally guys, I literally just made a YouTube video about this. Go watch the video. Oops, wrong way. Like if it, if it were somebody I knew and they wanted to mirror it, pay a fee, whatever. Like I'd go over and like do them the solid, but. I'm not like sitting there actively. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. First outcome possible. Yeah, I don't care. I mean, honestly, if you play standard, you probably don't care too much about the game either. I I have no like it's not. You guys got trolled by TFT LMA. Who's you guys? Somebody linked me that and said TFT is closing down. I got excited for a second, then about thirty seconds later, I realized it. Who's the third? Who who are you talking to? Uh, the best way to make money in standard, anyways, by playing leagues. But yeah, like, like, I find standard to be a complete joke. Like, if you have like altars and demigods and stuff, like things like that, like collectibles, fine. But like actually playing there, it's like the WNBA to the NBA. Like, I get that both of them are like leagues, but like, let's be honest, one of them is. And uh, I don't mean that on the gender lines. I just mean in terms of, you know, how many people play it or watch it or the competitive element. And... The uh, feel of the players playing. Um, okay, exact price. Plus, again, our RMT is rampant in, in uh, uh, standard, far more so than leagues. Um, but the economy is just completely fucked in standard, like completely fucked, especially since the Divine Exalt swap. You prefer standard? Yeah, I, I don't know who your friend is, but I would say that to his face that he's a second tier player. And if he plays standard as a crafter, it's because he's lazy. It's one thing to sit there in a pool where like when you have when you have an infinite amount of currency, which you basically do in standard, because the defining factor that really separates the two of them is that a person who doesn't care about leagues and only plays standard will have no impact on leagues. But a person who doesn't care about standard and plays in leagues will in perpetuity have an impact on standard. Because, for example, myself, I have like a thousand mirrors in standard. I quite frequently go over there and destroy like 10 mirrors to have fun, right? So am I, an, am I an active participant in that economy where I'm acting as a rational consumer? Uh, no, right? And when you have like 80%, 90% of the player base that like literally could not give a fuck about it, uh, you have... <laughs> And everyone's items constantly go back over. It's like it's not. It, it doesn't have a, a proper economic function. 
people that only craft on standard are doing so because they don't want to have to take the time or like possess the skill or the dedication to go out and make the currency again point blank period if it were about making items that didn't exist before you could do that in the four day period in between also new there's new crafting items and new crafting techniques that are league only um so i, I patently dismissed the the pretense that it's uh, under uh and again, I, I don't know your friend, so I'm not targeting this at him specifically, but just as a general rule. Anyone who says they're crafting and standard because they want to make hidden items is full of shit. It's because they're too lazy to do it in League. Uh, and I've, you know, obviously, with I've played the game for 10 years and crafted for 10 years. I, I know all the best crafters in the game. And I... I, I, I <laughs> Any single one of them that is in that position would, would openly admit the same thing. Unless they're RMTing, in which case the motivation system is different. But for someone who's purely doing it to play the game. There's nothing league only unless it's a crafting bench because they play hardcore exclusively to rip to standard. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, that's technically true. Uh, anything that is a crafting, for example, uh, recombinators. There were maybe a hundred recombinators in the entire market of all of standard in the league, like when hardcore was going on. And recombinators were not rare. Um. No, I, I don't care. Especially if you started in Sentinel, your friend is not a crafting genius. <laughs> I can't guarantee you that. Someone who started three leagues ago and doesn't even play in leagues is uh, <laughs> is not going to have a, a, a pedigree that I really... Um... <laughs> uh, but yeah, sorry. In, in, in Sentinel League, where Recombinator is one of the most powerful currency items in the game, um, we're introduced hardcore... Obviously, it's you can you could farm them easily. Like you can make twenty or thirty recombinators an hour just farming glaciers and icebergs or whatever they're called. I think it's glacier actually. Uh, and again, in the entire standard market, there were like a hundred for sale. Um, and so when I talk about new currencies, that's what I mean. A uh, hundred, a hundred of those, by the way, um, would be enough to make like two charge rings. It wouldn't be enough to make a single item. You need thousands and thousands of them. Uh, what you're referring to more so has context with respect to unique items and stuff where they can go to standard but anytime there's a new crafting currency implemented it never goes over even even though it can technically from hardcore there's not enough people that play hardcore there's not enough people that actually have that motivation because most people who play hardcore play hardcore because they like playing the game not because they want to make money in standard in between leagues intermittently okay yeah you, you know more than i do i'm sorry i'll tune into your stream next time for your expert opinions on in the game. Uh, uh, I don't think you're even listening at this point. All right, guys, I'm going to hide chat um, with no disrespect intended, but uh, I'll just let you guys press your opinions. I, I don't really think that they're, they're worth. I don't really think you're. Yeah. Oh, you turn back. Okay. I'm going to have a cigarette. Ah.
I'm not arguing that there weren't that many recombinators in standard. I was saying that there were not that many recombinators in the market. Like they were posted on the trade site. The people that are ripping them over to craft items aren't listing them on the market. They're ripping them over and they're crafting with them. Uh, again, which is not what I said. Uh, okay, here back.
Okay, we're gonna use the remaining beasts I have. Try and roll this. Uh, I only have 30 vultures, so it's not gonna take too long. Uh, I'm gonna take a break after that. Some food, etc. It's a dream roll. A perfect one would be uh, double damage with spells. Uh, I, I don't, it's not a huge difference though. There's a variety of ones that are fine to use. I just want to get a tier one, a tier one of a good mod. Spell damage can go up to 35, for example. Like right there, that was 15 divines right there we just spent. <laughs> Uh, damage to power tra it's not it's not as good I already have damage for frenzy um, <clears throat> conditional mods are never as good but yes that's a possibility it's only four percent though <laughs>
All the attack is supported in this interesting role. Alright, we're out of chimeras. I uh, spent two and a half mirrors already. As soon as they run out here, I'm, I'm ending stream though. Uh, which is, again, I only have two more chimeras, so. Oh, I've been get, finishing up in a few minutes here. You have almost, almost, I'd say 85% of what you say, Boyette, is wrong. <laughs> uh, I love and hate chat so much. All right, guys. Thanks for joining. I'll be back when I'm back. Hey guys, yeah, cheers boys. Hope you enjoyed that. Sorry, I know it was a little bit slow towards the end there. Hopefully, uh, I always keep my game on AFK like this. There we go.